Nation every weekday morning. The Pat and Aaron Show. It's a little too early for being that loud. Good morning, Tampa Bay. And here we go. Now your hosts, Pat Donovan and Aaron Jacobson. Good morning, goons. Welcome to the Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Coming to you live on a Monday morning, a wonderful Monday morning after a wonderful weekend of sports. It's going to be a great Monday as well when it comes to sports. Maybe the Tampa Bay Rays will begin uh, a winning streak. Maybe they will uh, go in to find a way to win their second series as they are out in Los Angeles of Anaheim. They're in Anaheim against the Stupid Angels tonight. Stupid start time, too. It's not of Anaheim anymore. They're in Anaheim. They're yeah, in but, Anaheim. Yeah, whether, it's, whether they're of Anaheim or not. We don't say that. I'm saying it. We're not allowed to I've say said, it. Ever since they started the Los Angeles thing, I've called them the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim of the western part of the United States of California <laughs> because they think we don't want to pick an area, so we'll just we'll just name all kinds of stuff. Three games starting today in, L- oh, well, in Anaheim, digging on the Angels of L.A. Um, I will only catch one of them. Oh, wow. You too. You might catch it because I know you. Dude. Your bed t- I know your bedtime. You do not know my bedtime. My bedtime's later than you think, uh, which is why I need naps every day. Um, 9.38 first pitch Yeah, tonight. but listen, think about that for I a know, second. Though. I know, I know. It the, is 18 minutes. Wait, what were you going to say? I'm going to be bitching. No, no, hold on. What were you going to say? Uh, national championship, men's basketball. Yeah, 9.20 tonight. And I'm going to be bitching all morning about, and I, I have it in one of my segments today, and play your Titanic music. I don't care. Why? Why is that game after 9 o'clock? Every year, it's like it's getting later, it seems like. What's, every, well, it's, it's after 9 o'clock every year because they basically played at the same time. I know, but year. like every last year was like 9. It, I feel like it started at 9.01, and then it's like 9.04, and then it's 9.07. Now it's 9.20. It's, it's enough. And is that tip, or is that like they say 920, and then all of a sudden we're doing the national anthem, and we're picking our nose, and all of a sudden it's like 935? It's Purdue, and it's UConn. They're not West teams. If there was a West team out there, fine, adjust. Now readjust. Well, they want the West to be able to watch it. Forget the West. Listen, I agree with you. you okay. You know what? Those sexist pigs. Whoa. They, you know what time what? the Yeah. You know what time the women's national championship game was yesterday? You kidding me? It's three o'clock, right? In the afternoon. Yeah. So a nooner for West Coast for the national championship? That's okay for them, for the women, those sexist pigs. Oh yeah. But when it comes to the men, we gotta make sure it's at six o- after six o'clock well, on the West what, Coast. You know, it's, called, it's called prime time. Because people want to watch. The women that was the most uh, Caitlin Clark, the most watched woman ever. All right. You know what would be, if you want to be, just like, I know we're joking here about sexism here, but you know what would be sexist? I'm not joking. If you're like, okay, Caitlin Clark, you're cool, and nobody else has ever been cool in women's basketball, we've done it at 3 o'clock all the time for years, but this time, for you, for you, Caitlin Clark, who, by the way, lost, um, we're going to change the star time. Why can't it be 4 o'clock there and 7 o'clock here? Because or even 5 o'clock. Or it's Monday. Then make it on Sunday. People are still at work. It's really stupid. And 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 I and you know what? I know most people will have it on to start. Who the hell gets to stay up until 12 o'clock on a weekday? What do you... What do you I think a lot of people do. How? I almost do half the time. And I, I got to get up at 4 a.m. 3.30. You work. stay up till midnight. I Forget it then. I don't know your sleeping habits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a, Listen, not a lot. So if, if I do, it's not on purpose. But I'll stay up to watch games and end up not really falling asleep until sometime after 11 o'clock a lot. Rays out west, playing the Angels. I get it. Last I got night it. I was up past 11. Yeah, I, I was out. I was I was sleeping. I, I get it. Rays out uh, out west, 162-game baseball season. When they go on their West Coast trips, I'm just going to have to, as a morning radio host who's up at 3.45 in the morning, I'm just going to have to eat it and go, hey, some of those games, I'm just going to have to watch a, a abbreviated version in the morning. Uh, but but for a national championship game, I mean, stop it. I, it's it's ridiculous. I know I'm not alone. Stay up. I know there are a lot of people that can stay up. There's also a big percentage of people that cannot and do not want to. I've said, no, you're not wrong. I think most people don't want to, and it's that balance of how much do we do to satisfy those people on the East Coast that don't want to stay up versus 
give some kind of product to the people out west who are still going to be at work if it's 420 in the afternoon or whatever the hell it is. So it's I like, again, yes, yeah, very easy for me to complain and for you to complain. Um, but I'll be complaining throughout the show. I, I know I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. It's my listen. It's Monday. People like to complain on Monday. All right. I feel like I'm in a complaining uh, mood. today. Uh, you can be in a complaining mood today. I'm going to be super positive today. All right. Because you know what? I'm excited for today. I'm excited for tonight. I love our listeners, dude. This is how much I love. Our listeners are the best. Uh, out of the 218, wherever the hell that is. Do you know where 218 or t- is it 219? 219. My, eyes, my eyes are bad. Right, that's a right? look. Getting old. Um, out of the 219, let's go Boilermakers. Great show and station, guys, which is hilarious. We haven't even started yet, but thank you. Uh, North, but I hope Pat wins his $500 tonight when Purdue puts the hammer down on UConn. The fact that Scott from Indiana he says knows, where it's from. It, it's Indiana. I know. I realize that as I finish the text. Hammond, Indiana. How about that? Hammond, Indiana. Yeah. Hammond, Indiana. Hammond, Indiana. Not Louisiana. Hammond, Indiana. Is that a song that's been before? Or I don't think it's Hammond, but it's something along the lines of Indiana. Mm. I believe I'm, I'm into it. Positive day. Uh, but yeah, the fact that we got goons who understand that if Purdue wins tonight, I'm going to win $500. You know what I realized, Aaron? I'm in the money no matter what. I want at least $100 out of this pool. Mazel tov. Which I'm shocked by because, like I said last week, like I complained. I didn't want to get in the pool. I was like, I don't want to do this. Nick made you. Nick's like, just do $25. I'm like, yeah, I'm throwing $25 away because there's 150 something people in this pool. And there's no way I'm going to win. And I, unbelievably, yeah, I, I realized as I was looking at over the weekend, the top three, which is me, um, some dude, and some woman, um, we're all we're all finishing in the top three. It's just a matter of who finishes where. I you, can't you, finish in first. Yeah, you can't finish in first. Somebody has Purdue like you going yeah. up against UConn. They just have more points than you already. I, I listen. I think tonight is going to be, and we're going to talk about it uh, throughout the show, but... Chance for a historic match up, matchup. UConn going for back to back titles. Purdue hasn't been there in forever. Uh, this is a. Uh, these are two heavyweights, the two best teams in college basketball all season long, going head to head tonight. That's what you mean, like a historic game, like a great game. A great game, yeah. And there's some some things when you look at it that are, are good storylines that go with it. A chance for I believe we haven't had. You know, when you look at the two just heavyweights. It's been a while since we've seen, I believe, I have to go back, but it feels like it's been a while since we've seen heavyweights like this go head-to-head that just dominated the regular season and are playing in the tournament, you know, dominated the tournament, uh, not their conference tournaments, but dominated this tournament. And I I think it's going to be a great match tonight. I thought about throwing some money on UConn just to guarantee something, like maybe more than $100, and I figured out a way that I can basically guarantee a couple hundred bucks as long as they cover, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk them having to cover because that would be my luck. They'd win, but not cover, and I'd lose on both ends and end up losing. The last thing I want to do is lose money out of this thing. But hey, I was trying to strategize, and I was looking at it. I'm like, if they were to cover, I can guarantee myself at least two and a quarter. Sorry, I haven't even looked at the spread yet. What's the spread yet? Six. Six. Um, last time I looked, I haven't actually been on the uh, Hard Rock's Sportsbook app yet today? Six. Six points. I mean, uh, UConn is dangerous. They are very good. They get out. If you stop ED, you got a really good chance to win. Would you be surprised if they won by 25? Yes. I wouldn't. Yes. I wouldn't. Now, I don't think they're going to, and I think Purdue's got a real shot, but just the way they've been playing, they've been killing everybody. And I know, for the most part, Arkansas hung on. I mean, I'm sorry, Arkansas. I've got uh, Calipari on the brain. And that we'll get to that. That's the big um, news as well. Calipari gone from Kentucky going to Arkansas. we got a lot to get to today. Alabama was what I meant to say. They hung in there for a good. It's six and a half now for UConn, Aaron Jacobson. Uh, minus six and a half on the Hard Rock Sportsbook app. And by the way, somebody, thank you for texting in. It's Gary, Indiana. That song was from Music Man, which I know you <laughs> you don't do musicals. So. What do you, oh, that's a musical? It's a musical. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a huge musical guy. The music Man. Uh, huge Rays guy, though. Exciting to see them get their first uh, series victory. Obviously, they split to start the season against Toronto, so they, they haven't lost every series. But good to see them get a series victory over the weekend, and especially the way... It went down yesterday with Ryan Pepio, who uh, had a f- tough first start, but we weren't shocked by that. And and we, you know, we talked about his performance after that game. It was clear in the first inning, certainly that he had been nervous. I don't think Aaron that he was nervous at any moment 
during the Rays' victory in Colorado yesterday. 3-2 to two final score, by the way. But the story really was Ryan Pepio. And this is why I've been saying since the trade that I'm very optimistic, you know, after reading about what he what he's been and kind of looking at some of his stuff very optimistic about what this kid can become and i don't mean i don't think just because we saw it yesterday that he's going to be a Cy Young candidate this year but the ceiling for him i i feel like is very very high and if we can get anything close to this kind of performance 94 pitches uh yesterday 67 of those were strikes um, and again, 11 strikeouts. And I know, I think you, I know you, I, I guess you, I said something last week about when we were doing who said it and you were just like, man, you know me so well, you're as excited about the zero walks as you are as of the 11 strikeouts. More excited. See, I know More you so excited. well. What Ryan Pepio did yesterday was historic. Yeah. It just was three hits too. It was historic. When I'm watching this guy deal the way he was yesterday at Coors Field of all places. I'm like, this is weird because you know how weird things happen in, in Colorado at Coors Field. That ball flies. It was weird. Saturday night, you saw it. It was, I mean, Friday, it's it just the weather was so bad. Well, Friday, I also wonder if there was some issues with the balls, you know? Yeah, according to Pete Fairbanks, there was. <laughs> we will get to that later as well. But it was just weird things so happen in Colorado with the baseball. And yesterday was one of those, it was a pitching duel. And Ryan Pepio, what he did was historic. And I mean that. The first ever visiting pitcher. And third overall, but first ever visiting pitcher to throw six scoreless innings with 10 or more strikeouts and no walks in the 30-year history of Coors Field. Incredible. If you would have asked me how many times has that happened, I mean, I'd probably guess in the hundreds. I mean, we're talking about 30 years of baseball, 81 year, 81 games a year, right? That's what? 800 for 10, 2,400 games, 2,400 games, and it's the third time. I mean, that's insanity. Yeah, and you would think even home pitchers, I mean, they haven't had greats, but you know, Baldo Jimenez, uh, Jimenez, they've had pitchers before. But it's you're not talking about a no-hitter. You're not talking about, like, the, the numbers that it's, we're talking about. It's It shouldn't be as historic as it is. It, it doesn't just, seem like it would be. It goes to show you how hard it is to yeah. pitch in Colorado, and that's why you, when you look at the Rockies and you look at their historic offensive numbers over the over their franchise, they've had some all-time great hitters, a part of their organization. In the list of all-time great pitchers, not so, not so long. How would you like to be Dakota Hudson? Uh, 238 ERA to start the year through... A couple of starts, he's 0-2. <laughs> like, that sucks. But you, you, you throw, like, you're just talking about how r- ridiculously hard it is. I, mean, I don't know where his first game was. It might have been on the road. But you want to just talk about how ridiculously hard it is to put up good numbers in Colorado. This guy's got an ERA under, and again, it's early, but an ERA under two and a half and can't find a win. Wasn't it a couple years ago? I think DeGrom had like a losing record and won the Cy Young or close to it. Did DeGrom do that? Yeah, I know it was that DeGrom. Felix Hernandez did that, didn't he? I'd have to go back and look. It makes sense. I think Some of those Seattle did. teams were not very good. Yeah, either he had a losing record or he barely had a winning record. But his Same ERA, with, yeah. yeah, his ERA was ridiculous. The team sucked. The win loss records for both of them around around five hundred. Maybe not a losing record, but it was just it just goes to show you have sometimes great pitching a part of bad teams, and you feel bad for those pitchers. Much like uh, you were, you said you feel you feel a little bad. Yeah. So much to get to today. Uh, of course, we've got Goons Getaway Day tickets again. We've got Steve Carney joining the show at 7.30. When I saw that, I was very excited. Uh, a lot to get to, like like we mentioned. More Rays, more Bolts who had a, a tough loss, but a, a great game over the weekend as well. And uh, today's top headlines with Casey Warner. He's back after a day off on Friday. That's next on 95.3 WDA and AM 620. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. DAE traffic update. Good morning. Overnight construction slowing traffic on southbound 275, Tropicana Field, 222nd Avenue South. Right and center lanes are blocked here. Also, a crash being cleared up in Hillsborough County on southbound US 301, just before 674 Sun City Center Boulevard. No major problems to report on I-4 or 275 through downtown Tampa. 
with traffic. I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why they sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools, Lowe's knows pros. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Annuity guarantees are based on the claims-paying ability of the issuing insurance company. DBA in Florida as Trajan Wealth Insurance Solutions. Did a nice tax refund put you in the market for a new car? Maybe you didn't get a refund and you need to free up some extra cash. Have you checked? Check the value of your used car lately. Aaron Jacobson here, and you can find this out easily from GiveMeTheVin.com. Sell your car for the most money now at GiveMeTheVin.com. They are five-star rated by the Better Business Bureau for a reason. They're proud of that, and they should be. Top money, quick transactions, that's GiveMeTheVin.com. A 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Some things in life you can just rely on like the comfy fit of a favorite pair of jeans and the tried and true performance of a new AC system from Rude. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rude Pro Partner. Go to RudeACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rude Pro Partner today. That's RudeACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Easy Cater, 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. We recently received a call from an injured person. The insurance company had offered them $11,000. We took the case over and got more than $2 million in court. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. An iHeartRadio sports report presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. This report is sponsored by McCall Pest Services. Call McCall. They do it all. You got 99 problems, but a bug ain't one. All thanks to McCall. Whether it's bugs, termites, mosquitoes, or wildlife, call McCall. Visit McCallService.com. They do it all. That's McCallService.com to tell pests bug bye. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock, but our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny. Our highs right around 84. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anajar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Top Headlines. It's time for today's top headlines brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Mr. Warner, I are, I think I know where you're leading. Let's yes, go. Yes, oh, yeah. Yes. Look at you. You're so excited. John Calipari is gone. He's no longer the head coach of the Kentucky Wildcats. He is taking over the Arkansas Razorbacks. It was funny because I went to bed pretty early last night, probably around 9, 30, or 10. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I woke up uh, the first time around like midnight or 12, 30, and I saw my That's phone the there. worst. Yeah, yeah, I went back to sleep. It wasn't anything like a big deal. I just wanted to check my phone to see if I missed anything, and I sure did. John Calipari headed to Arkansas across the SEC. Uh, what they're saying is a pretty big deal, uh, close to what he had at Kentucky, nearing about $8.5 a, a year. So 
big hire for the Razorbacks and wondering where Kentucky's going to go after this. Is it me or is Calipari going from Kentucky to Arkansas in basketball feel like Nick Saban going from Alabama to Kentucky uh, in football or something like, you know what I mean? Like it's not Arkansas is not a bad program. They had great years under Nolan Richardson, national championship teams. This isn't like a, a program that's just nothing. Right. But compared to Kentucky in college basketball, it just feels like a downgrade. It does. And it makes me think, and we talked about this recently. I talked about it with Casey and Casey's dad, Mick called in when you were out oh. And Mick, what the hell? We should call him today this morning. <laughs> um, we've got a guy in Coach Cal who has had so much success, but really the success, if you look at it, is mm-hmm. getting guys to the NBA in the first round. He has an insane track record of getting the talent, getting the guys, he, even if they don't succeed in college basketball as a team, the the scouts of the NBA are watching closely and those guys he pumps out first round draft picks and ultimately when you're walking into a living room of a young kid and you're like hey I'm gonna get you to the NBA right that for a young kid that's that's dollar signs right there and for his family that's dollar signs right there and, and you want that more than a national championship that's for sure you know you no doubt and on top of that you can say hey we're going to build a, a big team a great team with a chance for you to win a national championship you're going to be on national television it's it's an easy sell so for coach cal he, he wasn't winning at kentucky he was getting the yeah. guys to the first round in the NBA, wasn't winning. So the fan base was growing tired, as we heard from Casey Warner, as we've heard from Mick, as we've heard from other Kentucky fans. They were growing very tired of that act. It wears thin. At some point, you want to win it all. So now, I think it's a smart move. You get out of Dodge before eventually, you know, the writing was on the wall. If it wasn't this year, which Kentucky said it wasn't going to be this year, you have another year or two like that, you're done. Yeah. So... You don't want that on your uh, as a part of your legacy that you got fired, so you leave, right? And you go to a place like Arkansas where everyone goes, why are you st- taking a, a step backwards? No, no, no. Now he can build that up to a powerhouse and go, look what I did at Arkansas. If, if he can. Look what I did at UMass. Look what I did at Memphis. Look what I did at Kentucky. Now look what I can do at Arkansas if he can. And you know, it's still Coach Cal. He's still going to be able to go in a living room and go, hey, trust me. We're going to build something here, and I'm going to get you to the NBA. It's I think it's going to work out for him. The Jack Golkies of the world are smiling right now because they took Calipari off of his team. All right, so we're moving on. Astros' Renel Blanco, 14 and two-thirds. That's how long his hitless streak was to begin the season. He got taken out in the sixth inning against the Rangers, and his no-hit start that he had first was followed up by six more innings of no-hit baseball. This guy might be pretty good. Um, I think he's going to be okay. It looks like he's going to be okay. I mean, yeah, I, we mentioned it last week, the day after uh, the no-hitter. We, we forgot to mention it, but uh, it, it just feels unfair. It feels unfair for this kid to be a Houston Astro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's where he landed, really. And I know he didn't land there. That's not how it happens. But still, like, it's just it feels unfair for the Astros to have this kid. He got 44 outs before he allowed his first hit. That's stupid. 44 outs to start the season before he finally gave up one hit. Just one hit. An amazing start to the season. And by the way, that's the first time a pitcher's done that to begin a season in at least the expansion era, and that's 1961. So uh, the rich get richer, as you noted, Pat Donovan and the Houston Astros. Very good start for Blanco. And I'll be honest with you, 40 how many outs? Uh, 44 outs. 44 outs. I don't think it sounds as impressive as it is, right? Like 44, It sounds very it impressive. No, no, no. It, 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 I think you've got to really, though, like know baseball and think about what that means, right? Like I think a lot of people don't think about like 27 outs is a game, right? Like 44 doesn't sound like a huge number. It's much bigger than it sounds. How many players in Major League Baseball history have thrown back-to-back no-hitters? Three. One. Was it one? Johnny Vandermeer with the Reds in 38. The great Johnny Vandermeer. The great Johnny Vandermeer. Johnny Vandermeer. How about that? All right. That's all we got for top headlines from the penalty box. Back to y'all. That's today's top headlines brought to you by Mark Spain Real Estate. Just uh, go to MarkSpain.com and start packing. Um, all right. That's today's top headlines. When we, when we return, the former top scorer in women's college basketball is calling Caitlin Clark's new record Illegitimate. 
does she have a point? We're going to talk about it on the other side on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. But first, want to remind you about our good friends at IDC and what really is so impressive about them. What we love about them so much is the way they stand behind their product. They're a company that's not interested in making a quick buck. One that's going to be here for a long time and has been here for a long time. You've been hearing us talk about them for a long time, but they've been around a lot longer than that. And again, that's why we're such fans, Aaron and I, of International Diamond Center because they have so much confidence in what they do. For example, I think we've told you about it before, but did you know about their 110% upgrade policy? It allows you to upgrade your diamond and get 110% of your original purchase price to go towards a bigger diamond. So if you paid $6,000 for your first diamond and now you want to upgrade it to, let's say, an $8,000 diamond, IDC is going to give you $6,600 back in credit towards that new stone. So you're only going to pay $1,400 for that upgrade. Yeah, you're getting your original price plus an extra 10% when you upgrade. So amazing, amazing at International Diamond Center. Plus, I love this. You get free service for life on any purchase. So no charge ever for cleaning or sizing or routine maintenance. It's all on IDC when you shop there. So make sure you check out all the great products at International Diamond Center. Why would you buy a ring anywhere else? International Diamond Center, they have the local ownership you want and the international connections that you deserve. Only at IDC. Check their showrooms out in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And you can get more information online at shopidc.com. This audio from the former top scorer in women's college basketball history. This is this is wild. And for this to happen on the day Caitlin Clark, to come out the day Caitlin Clark was playing in the national championship, wait until you hear this next. Today, Tampa Bay Rays baseball is live on WDAE. Deep down the line to the corner. Home run. Don't miss any of the action as the Rays take on the Los Angeles Angels. Coverage starts at 830 on the home of every Rays game all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming across Tampa Bay on the iHeartRadio app. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. Locations in St. Pete, Lakeland, Brandon, Bradenton, and Tampa. 813-305-3000. Attention landowners. Got big plans for your land? Tackle all your spring projects with a powerful John Deere machine. And now with 0% APR for 72 months on select compact tractors, riding lawnmowers, and gator utility vehicles, plus up to $2,000 off select compact tractors. It's never been easier to get in the seat. Offer available April 1st through 30th. Visit JohnDeere.com to find your local dealer. For complete finance details, please call toll-free 1-800-226-8903. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clog gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to the Rhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. Attention homeowners, come out and join Rich Shop Exteriors for our grand opening events on April 19th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at our office in Clearwater, located at 10810 U.S. Highway 19 North. It's a celebration you don't want to miss. Come bowl with Crash and AJ at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. 
Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The Rays hang on and win in Colorado, taking the last two of that series. They stay on the road visiting the Angels tonight. College basketball UConn goes for a second straight national title, facing Purdue in the championship game. Meanwhile, big coaching news. John Calipari, after 15 years at Kentucky, reportedly leaving the Wildcats, agreeing to become head coach at Arkansas. And hockey, the Lightning are back at it tomorrow, hosting Columbus. I'm Matt McCoy. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward, like banners, flyers, signs, and catalogs, some even same day. And now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Offer N61. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, the home for Team Tampa Bay over, over 20, 20 years and counting. counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Pat Aaron, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Lynette Woodard was the all-time leading women's scorer in college basketball. That is until... Caitlin Clark took that record over recently and uh, Woodard was actually talking about the record and the fact that, well, maybe some things might be a little bit different. Listen to what she had to say about Caitlin Clark's record. And then uh, we'll discuss And you'll have to text in 888. Uh, I'm sorry. Eight, two, nine, four, five. If you want to jump aboard with us, uh, no calls today, uh, but you can text us eight, two, nine, four, five message and data rates may apply. Uh, want to hear your thoughts on this because uh, these are some interesting comments from Lynette. I am the hidden figure, but no longer now. Uh, my record was hidden uh, from everyone for 43 years. 43 years. Uh, I don't think, uh, I'll just go ahead and get the elephant out of the room. Uh, I don't think my record has been broken uh, because you can't duplicate what you're not duplicating. And, uh, so unless you come with a men's basketball and a two-point shot, hey, you know. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> but just for you, so you can understand it, so you can help me uh, spread that word. But- Spread that word. Spread the word. It got out. It got out. And listen, it got out on a day where Caitlin Clark was playing in the national championship. And you could hear that room, Pat. They're like, oh. And then they all clapped. They all loved it. Can you tell me why it was hidden? Why was her record hidden for 43 years? Um, I, I don't know. Was, I, they were trying to keep it from people? I, I don't think like she meant it like that. That's what it sounds like. I'm the hidden figure because nobody really talked about it. I mean, like, it's not a, it's not a popular scoring record. Did you know? And I, I know I certainly of, did. Did you know who Lynette Wood, Woodard was before this? Of course I did not. And I probably <laughs> won't know who Caitlin Clark is in 10 years. I bet you if I ask um, you who Lynette Woodard is in a week, you'll have no idea. Right. I know you. You'll and, forget. And, and, and I mean, certainly, but I'm talking about I said Caitlin Clark in 10 years. Like, and certainly in how, when did, when did Woodard play? A uh, long time ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When we get to that point, when we say Caitlin Clark played a, a long time ago, those kids aren't going to know. Maybe. People, people won't know. I think it's different. I think with social media now and what she will become as far as on the map, um, like Diana Taurasi. She'll become. Okay. We all know who Diana Taurasi is. Sure. But when we're talking about she played a long time ago, are we going to know who Diana Taurasi is? Mm-hmm. I just, to me, the women's game isn't big enough for us to remember it like that. Here's the thing. And I don't think that's changing. People want to pretend it's changing. It's not. Did this need to get out on National Championship Day for Caitlin Clark? No. I mean, it was Caitlin Clark and really South Carolina's day when it was all said and done. It was the Gamecocks day. But you look. They were undefeated. And yeah, and they continued and they won that game in the National Championship and and a, a comeback too because Iowa started off red hot. Yes, I did watch that game. It was very exciting. Um, I'm not a big fan of the two-point conversation. The game has changed in both games. All right, so you change and you adjust, you learn, and you become a good shooter. Well, listen, it's a, it's, it's a relevant part of the discussion if you're going to have the discussion because, yes, it's not about whether or not she was good enough to shoot the three. It just wasn't there for her. And if you don't have a three-point shot, obviously your points aren't going to pile up as quickly as Caitlin Clark, who's shooting a ton of threes. Now, so that's part of the conversation. Hey, if there were a three-point shot, how many po- more points would she have scored? Because she would have scored more points. The it, b- the bigger part of the conversation for me, and you're right, you absolutely make a good point there. 
But for me, I had no idea, and you can tell me if you knew, I didn't know that I know women play with a smaller ball now. Yeah. I had no idea that at this point when Lynette was playing, that she insinuates that they use, she said, so unless you come with a men's basketball and a two-point shot. So I'm guessing she played with a men's basketball. I did not know that. So you think that's more significant than the three-pointer? Without a doubt in my mind. If a four, Okay, if all women since the beginning of time were playing with the same size basketball, then this isn't a conversation, right? But... The basketball size. Go watch. I mean, I, I, and I'm not being. I'm not messing with you here and pointing at the fact that you don't watch college women's college basketball. I just know you don't. I know a lot of people don't, and I don't unless it's a big game yeah. like last night. And I've seen a bunch of them. Last year, I remember bringing up Caitlin Clark to you, and you're like, "Who?" Yeah. I, she was becoming very popular. I was enjoying watching her shooting for the lights out. The ball. You go watch on layups and things. The ball being significantly smaller, the bounces, the rolls it gets off of a rim, it is much easier. And I bet you if Brinkus did a sports science on it back in the day, it would prove it is much easier for that ball scientifically to go in the hoop than a men's basketball, a bigger basketball. So if Woodard is playing with a, a bigger basketball, yeah, that's a disadvantage uh, for, for Woodard compared to what Caitlin Clark is but dealing with. But the three-pointer is a disadvantage, too. Yeah. And it's, you can't, there's no way to do a, a real, even scientifically, I don't think. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to do a real comparison and say, here's how many more points she would have scored with a smaller basketball and or here's how many more points she would have scored with a three-point line. Because y you could say, hey, here's how, how many points, she, here's how many shots she took if you had the data, Right. Here's how many shots she took from what would be a three-pointer. But you're stepping back a little bit if that line's there. You're intentionally shooting from behind that line if that line is there. So there's shots that she would have taken that would have been inside of that line where if the line's there, maybe she steps back a foot. So you just there's no way to really, in my opinion, know how many p more points she could have scored either way. Also a higher volume of shots now, shot clock era. Guy, uh, men and women are just hoisting up shots. You want as many shots as you can get, and you figure you know, that's the new way, run and gun, and uh, hope that you get as many buckets as you can and shoot the lights out. But I think that you, you're right. I think we're both right, and I think both points are really valid. I don't know that why the timing, like the timing of this wasn't good. I'll be honest with you. Timing aside, who cares, lady? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care if it's the day of the national championship game. I don't care if it's next week. Like, if you want to, like, celebrate your legacy, if that's what you want to do. But why at the expense of Caitlin Clark, who I've been on record. I find Caitlin Clark kind of annoying, like her trash, like just the way she carries herself. Just, I, I, the things I don't like about the girl, but I try to be like honest or or objective as I can in my opinion like if I'm this woman like maybe I want to say hey I had this record and maybe people didn't know whatever if she wants to be it's somehow recognized and she feels like she wasn't for a long time I get that but why does it have to be at Caitlin Clark's expense why does it have to be I, I to me I just I don't understand that that thinking regardless you're right regardless though she makes good points and then yeah. Don Staley getting asked the other day about um, transgender uh, women playing in college basketball, and she was just like, "Oh man, you're going deep on me." Yeah. And she like, she I love, by the way, it was amazing. And she stares and she's thinking, and I'm like, "Oh, this poor girl, she's got to come up with something here." And the thought alone, like the thought bubble, taking that time, it's like, okay, so you're about to say something that you probably don't really feel, and then she's like. Yeah, I think uh, they sh essentially they should be able to play in in women's uh, in women's basketball. Which like that reporter knew what they were doing. I think it was from Outkick. They knew exactly what they were doing. But then again, it made me think, and this is it. I mean, it does it makes me think? Okay, someone who considers themselves a man who considers themselves a woman, who yeah. feels like a woman, hasn't done all the transitioning, just is like I, I feel like I'm a woman, goes and gets a smaller basketball. Is bigger than all these women. Say something else, man. <laughs> I mean, like it is. It is weird where we're at in sports. It's a pivotal moment. It's an odd moment, especially for women's sports, because if men who are starting to transition into into women start yeah. going up against Caitlin Clark or the, or the likes of a Caitlin Clark, we're not going to be seeing the history that we saw this year because they're just going to dominate.
there's going to be dudes who heard me say that that record is now forever a women's record, and they're like, well, that's, that's where I got to yeah, go. We'll see. That's where I got to go. We'll see about that. Well, it's, if you're playing that game, somehow it's still a quote-unquote women's record. I don't know. I Listen, it I think it's a think. slippery slope. It, it it's may- a slippery slope because when do you determine that just because you feel like something, you are something? Well, do you have to be on a certain amount of the transitional drugs? Well, I'm saying there's you no have line. To have, uh, things missing. Like I don't know. And she but, went on. She's like, if women feel like men, they should be able to play men's sports. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <"What?" laughs> yeah, you know what? You do know how this works, right? <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, that men are more, uh, not more athletic. What the body types of men, They're natural stronger. men, We're are stronger. Yeah, stronger that's all body, it is. And that's that's science, people. And when I say we, like I don't necessarily include myself in that. I know a lot of women that are stronger than me. I was, I told Casey, I don't, I mentioned this to you on Friday, but Casey and I, when we were at the bare knuckle thing on uh, Thursday night, I looked at him at one point during one of the women's fights, and I was like, both of these women would whoop my ass. It's I not mean, a it's po- not even close, and that, it's not a political thing. It is a scientific thing. It is a scientific thing. My girlfriend, who is a liberal. When I was Whoa. destroying her in tennis the other day. Here come the texts. She was, oh yeah, right. I was <laughs> destroying her in tennis the other day. And she's like, yeah, you're a man. You're stronger than me. And everyone who knows me, know, look at me. I'm not strong. It's science, people. That's my rant of the Your day. Your girlfriend said it. Yeah, and she's a liberal. And she's a woman. <laughs> you know, she's a liberal woman. <laughs> when we return, the Rays had a very interesting weekend in Colorado. We'll get into all of the action and... uh Pete Fairbanks' words as well, again, on the Pat Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. WDAE. Traffic update. Already some big problems on 75 in Hillsborough County, northbound, north of 60. Before MLK, it's in the left-hand lane. Also a crash on southbound 75 just before Sun City Center and 674. It's in the right-hand lane. Overnight construction continues in St. Pete. Southbound 275 down to one lane between 175 and 22nd Avenue South. Expect delays there. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Do you need to lose some weight? Do you need to lose a lot of weight fast? Well, age rejuvenation is the place to go regardless of how you want to lose weight. I've been telling you about my journey and John Mamola's journey. He's using their semaglutide program because he wants to lose more weight and lose it faster. I'm going a little bit more gradually and just using diet and exercise. However you want to lose weight, Age Rejuvenation will build the perfect program for you. If you go to their website, agerejuvenation.com, tell them I sent you, you get your first month for free. Agerejuvenation.com. What sets International Diamond Center apart from those big box jewelry chain stores? The problem with big chain stores is that they're all run by corporate. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. That means the people at the store level just plain don't care much. At IDC, you're not dealing with a bunch of retail clerks. You're working with a true jewelry professional who's not on commission and not beholden to a bunch of corporate dictated rules and policies. When you're in the big corporate world, everybody operates out of a manual or a big book of rules. At IDC, we don't have a manual telling our people how to deal with customers. We empower our people to take care of those customers in the way they would want to be taken care of. Get the respect, guidance, professionalism, and genuine care you deserve from people who put you first. We tell them point blank, do whatever it takes to make the customer happy, period. International Diamond Center, locally owned, internationally connected. We want them to take care of you, protect you, and make it the best experience that you could possibly have. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota, and always at shopidc.com. Get in zone, auto. AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, we can help you get back on the road. Get in the zone. Auto. So what if I need a new one? We have the right Duralast battery for you. Only at AutoZone. Get in the zone. Auto. And what about my old battery? We can recycle it right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in the zone. AutoZone. 
Restrictions apply. This March, it's time to join the winning team for your home loan needs. HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. Homeowner's debt is madness with credit card rates going through the roof. So find out how John Howard and his team can save you right now at HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. Lower LLC and MLS 1124061. Equal housing opportunity. Terms and conditions apply. Since 1985, Bates Electric has served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 gold service is Tampa's most recommended. And our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why clients rave about Bates Electric. Power on, power on, power on, Bates Electric. Power on. Easy Cater. 100,000 restaurants, one platform. Need food for a meeting or a company event? Easy Cater has everything you need to make food for work, work. With easy online ordering and reordering. Save your favorite orders, make edits as needed, and click. We even help you with expenses by keeping your receipts all in one place, which means all you need to do is sit back and enjoy the food. From ordering to reporting, Easy Cater has everything to make food for work, work. Order 24-7 at easycater.com. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute, I got that wrong there. Rivard Buick GMC, the number three. GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Rivard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RivardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RivardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional. I'm grade. John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America. Fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. And iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alt 2K. Don't want to be an American idiot. A commercial-free look back to alternative from the 2000s. With Foo Fighters, Weezer, Linkin Park, Green Day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alt2K, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free, never sounded so good. iHeartRadio. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock. But our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny. Our highs right around 84. This report is sponsored by McCall Pest Services. Call McCall. They do it all. You got 99 problems, but a bug ain't one. All thanks to McCall. Whether it's bugs, termites, mosquitoes, or wildlife, call McCall. Visit McCallService.com. They do it all. That's McCallService.com to tell pests bug bye. Punch the preset for the ride home. On the drive with T Crass. Coming up at three. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Pat and Aaron 95.3 WDAE AM 620. Interesting weekend in Colorado for the Rays. And it all started on Friday night where it got really weird, apparently, for Pete Fairbanks. Um, allegedly for Pete Fairbanks? I don't know. He thinks it got weird. Jason Adam didn't seem like it was weird for him. What was weird, you might be asking. Well, we'll let Pete Fairbanks tell you. Yes, thank you. Pete, just can you kind of run through what was going on in the ninth inning? It looked like maybe you didn't like some of the balls that were coming in. Yeah, they were horrible. You mark that down, all caps for me. Horrible. <laughs> uh, no excuse, though. Didn't throw strikes. And that's what happens when you don't throw strikes. You get punished for it. So I'd love to see those come out of the humidor tomorrow in a little better shape before they get rubbed up. But, uh, you know, there's nobody to blame but myself for not being able to adjust to some of the, the quality issues. Dry or, or not smooth, or what was the uh, issue? There was uh, just overall bad. Um, I'm not going to elaborate further than that. They Why? Not uniform from ball to ball, so there's no, I mean, dry, smooth, whatever you want to say. Just non-uniform, didn't feel right. So just make it tough for you to grip and kind of get the ball where you want it to go? Uh, yeah, it's tough to throw your slider when the ball goes that way out of your hand. So. And just 
obviously uh, the situation, I haven't seen the team come back and, and score as many runs as they did. But obviously, that adds to the frustration of not being able to close that out. Uh, anytime that you don't close it out, it's frustrating. I don't think that it's um, there's not a different level of frustrating if you do it. You know, one of the game you've led the whole time or a game you've come back, they're all pretty frustrating. Was that the first time that you've encountered a, an experience like that with the balls? Uh, I mean, anywhere in your career? I mean, they, they are never the same. This was just a different, different than what we're used to. I was used to, so... You didn't feel that way on the bullpen or anything? Different balls out there? Uh, no, the balls that Charlie rubbed up for our bullpen bag were great. Had any of the other pitchers said anything during the afternoon about the ball quality? Uh, the ones that are game balls are not us. So how would we say that? No, I mean, if anyone else had complained about him, um, any of your you teammates. To go ask some other people. You can ask them what they thought of him. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what Pete. in the world? Uh, yeah, right, Pete, I love you, bud. But come on, man. Like, if you're going to say they're bad and then say you won't elaborate on why they're bad, then don't say they're bad. And I it just, it, it, and it, then he also said they're never the same. So there's no consistency at all. Like I have trouble believing that they're never the same. And also, if they're never the same, what's the big deal tonight? You can't tell us. I mean, I hope he told someone. I don't know whose job it is to get these balls ready. But I don't know, man. This I is weird. I loved. I was watching this right when it happened, and I was like, Pete, come on, Pete. And his teammates were trying to. Because I don't know if his teammates had heard the comments from Pete when they were asked about it as well, but I feel like the comments that the questions they were asked, some of the other pitchers was like they could tell somebody else had complained about the ball, so they were you know trying to be political in a way it sounded like, but nobody else seemed to have any issue at all with the balls. So I, for Pete, for a guy who said multiple times he's not making an excuse and then made the same excuse excuse over and over again, you got to be better than that. You got to be able to adjust. He threw 17 pitches, five of them th for strikes, was all over the place, three walks, an absolute mess. And it was overall a good weekend for this team. You showed a lot of life and a lot of res resiliency. Friday night, first game of the series, you had a five-run ninth inning. That was ruined by Fairbanks' performance and, and, and Jason Adam uh, as well. Yeah, overall, a great weekend offensively. You got to be happy with what the bats did in Colorado. And yeah, and the fight on Saturday to come back on Saturday and win that game. Uh, the fight yesterday, Pepe, what a performance yesterday. But Saturday, you come back, you finish the job. Uh, Jason Adam and Colin Poche, they shut the door for the Rays to get that 8-6 eight, eight to six win. And like I said yesterday, Pepe, historic performance for a visiting pitcher at, at Chorus Field. And they win the series. So already showing signs of resiliency for Pete. You, gotta, you just got to... Put that frustration aside. I didn't even want to really hear you vocalize it. Like, just be yeah. better, figure it out, and adjust, and everyone's dealing with it, and you can't let that happen. You can't let it get in your head, because it did. You can vocalize it when things go well, but when things go poorly like that, it just sounds like an excuse. Again, tell people that are involved in the balls if you've got to do something about making sure they're better for you, but to complain is hilarious. Off to a rough start so far this year. ERA up above six now. But you look at, you know, the last few years, 2.70 ERA last year. Amazingly, two, uh, two years before, the exact same 2.70. 2022, that was the year where he was just absolutely filthy. 0.86, 0 0.86 ERA. Uh, just over three back in 2020. So guy that's been... It's difficult to have an ERA three or lower out of the bullpen because one or two bad performances can really F your ERA up. He has, as we've seen already this year for Pete Fairbanks, he has been so good and so consistent over the last handful of years, actually in his career. I mean, the last time he had an ERA above 3.04 was in 2019 for Texas when it was up above eight. I mean, he has been so good and so consistent for so long. I'm, I can't think of a guy that's that consistent, that good, and says as many off the wall things as Pete Fairbanks does. Like I just like, what is going on with you, dude? You worry me, but I can't be worried because of the results. Yeah, and I saw somebody texted in. Uh, I think it was from yesterday, but they were bitching about the bullpen. Like everyone's been telling us how good this bullpen is, and they stink. We heard the same thing last year of people complaining early on. It takes time, especially for guys coming out of the pen to get the flow. Like. Maton, not a good start, but like 
I see the stuff. Like yesterday, you can see the guy's going to be dirty. Like you can talk crap about Phil Maton right now. I promise you, you will be praising this guy and bowing to him by the end of the season. The guys like that. that sounds like a canva to me. Yeah, bro, there you go. <laughs> uh, that's damn right. Damn You're right. Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried. Like Sean Armstrong hasn't looked good at times. Clevenger, same thing. It concerns me. But you know what? There's one thing I was confident last year when they were pitching like crap, Pat, that they would figure it out, and I'm confident again. And they had less again. arms. They had less arms last year. And they're, they're going to figure it out again this year. I have no doubt. We're not even two weeks into the season. Relax, people. But you know what's really encouraging, Pat Donovan? Forget about the bullpen, which I have full faith they will figure it out. What were our concerns really coming into the season? The starting rotation. Zach Eflin looked amazing last outing. Aaron Savali, through both of his starts, has been the most consistent pitcher on this team. Which, listen, if we can say that, if we can continue to say that, I think we're going to be in really good shape. Zach Littell. Looks good, continuing uh, from last year as well. Just really, really effective. And if you get what you got from Ryan Pepio yesterday, who started as the fifth start on the rotation, but I really guess you can call him the fourth start on the rotation. That is, I mean, that, that might not last long either. I will take that. If we get that from Pepio, that's better than the glass now stuff we were getting. I mean, on a consistent, if we get that on a consistent basis, if you're getting ten plus Ks, you're not walking anybody, and you're going six. Tyler Glass now who? And I don't, and by the way, I don't, I don't think it's fair for us to expect that time in and time out from a kid Pepio's age, but that's the ceiling. And I think that that consistently can be who he is eventually. If he can do that in Colorado, right, not walk anybody, give up a couple hits, striking out more than, you know, the double digit strikeouts for him, why can't we expect the ceiling to be what, you know, oh, no, why no, no, no. consistency to be the, like this? The guy. I just think young pitchers. They have hiccups. I, I just think that that's, that's it's uh, it's unfair to expect it every time out. When I see a guy who throws a hundred on a fastball and he's blown by guys, I go, okay, well, it makes sense. He throws a hundred. Wait until he gets Tommy John. He can't throw a hundred anymore. Pepio lives around mid nineties. He lives around ninety four. He has so much life on his fastball. When I see pitchers that have that much life and movement on their fastball, and guys can't figure Dude, it Thomas out. Bradley's got life on his fastball. Yeah. I mean, like, it's just, and I think he's going to be a really good pitcher. I do. I think when Taj Bradley is, is like, matured and, and figures things, I just, listen, I love, I've been, I've told you since before the year, I'm very optimistic about Ryan Pepio. I think you have to expect hiccups from young players, really, but young pitchers, sure. young pitchers especially. But I, listen, I think he's going to be really, really good. Uh, all right, when we return, the 7 o'clock hour is going to be really, really good. We've got a national championship game. We've still barely got into the Tampa Bay Lightning. More Rays talk as well. We've got a chance for you to win. Here's what we're going to do. At some point in the next hour, at some point in the next hour, you need to make sure you're listening. You can't call us today, so we're doing something unique for our Goons Getaway Day tickets. And sometime in the next hour, we're going to come back. We're just going to start yelling about Goons Getaway Day tickets. And then the first person to text in, 82945, start your text with DAE so we get it. The first person to text in, we're going to call you. You have to answer to win these tickets, but we're going to call you. That's coming up at some point in the 7 o'clock hour. And, uh, again, a lot more all coming up on the Pat and Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Breaking down stats and staying ahead of the curve. Jay and Sack. One can throw the curve while the other can't hit the curve. Jay and Sack. And if this isn't enough curve hype to satisfy your palate, this is the show for you. Jay and Sack. Not your average sports talk show and we like it that way. Jay and Zach. Weekdays noon to 3 on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming on the free iHeartRadio app. Hey guys, T-Kraz here for C4MH.com. Well, it's the holiday season, and with all that comes the New Year's resolutions, guys, to hit the gym. But remember, if you're over 40, you can't build muscle with low T. Testosterone is the primary hormone needed for building muscle. And if you have low T, you'll be working twice as hard at the gym and getting nowhere. So know before you go. Get your testosterone tested at C4MH.com. Just $45 gets you lab results and a medical exam. And C4MH.com only treats with pharmaceutical testosterone, never Never that cheap cut rate compounded tea that all those pop-up tea clinics use. C4Mitch.com never makes you pay for treatments in advance. No financial contracts to sign. No financing needed. As C4Mitch.com is a medical clinic, not a marketing company. Just $85 for treatment twice a month and $90 for labs. No surprises and no upsells or add-ons. C4Mitch.com, the leader in low tea care. 18 locations between Tarping Springs and Naples. Hit them up at C4Mitch.com. 
Does your business need a reliable and trusted partner for network and information technology services? Look no further than Applied Innovations IT experts. Applied Innovation offers fully managed network services, a program where you outsource all of your IT needs to Applied Innovation. Partnering with Applied Innovation provides you with a suite of IT services, including managed backup and recovery, vendor management, a 24-7 help desk, and managed security. Network security is something all businesses should be concerned with. Hackers using ransomware can cripple a business both large and small. With Applied Innovation managing your network and data security, you stay one step ahead of potential cyber attacks. Want peace of mind? Want a partner that truly cares about your business and your future? Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Applied Innovation, fast, friendly, amazing. And we're live here outside the Perez family home just waiting for the... And there they go. Almost on time this morning. Mom is coming out the front door strong with a double arm kid carry. Looks like dad has the bags. Daughter is bringing up the rear. Oh, but the diaper bag wasn't closed. Diapers and toys are everywhere. Ooh, but mom has just nailed the perfect car seat buckle for the toddler. And now the eldest daughter, who looks to be about 9 or 10, has secured herself in the booster seat. Dad zips the bag closed, and they're off. Ah, but looks like mom doesn't realize her coffee cup is still on the roof of the car. And there it goes. Oh, that's a shame. That mug was a fam favorite. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Learn more at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. Spring is in the air, and so is dust, pollen, and dander. Before you turn on your AC system, make sure to schedule an iron as heating and cooling seasonal tune-up to avoid costly breakdowns and clear away the allergens that have been building up since last year. Right now, when you schedule a spring seasonal tune-up, we'll also schedule your end-of-season fall tune-up for free. Book today at ironaair.com forward slash radio. For anything cooling and plumbing, you can trust Iernas to get it done and get it done right the first time. Opening your home to showings means strangers can open anything. Don't worry about getting around to spring cleaning. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and skip the cleaning and organizing necessary to sell your home. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson. Say goodbye to the stress that comes with a traditional home sale. With a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain's Real Estate, you can receive an all-cash offer and close within days. No showings, no open houses, no costly repairs. Mark Spain Real Estate makes selling your home stress-free. Check them out. MarkSpain.com for the guaranteed offer. No obligation. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Have you downloaded the free iHeartRadio app yet? Just think, you could take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all on one app. Free never, never sounded, sounded so, so good. good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. For those who stand together and be the thunder each and every night. We are 95.3 FM, W237CW, Pendellis Park. And the mighty 620, WDAE, St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, Lightning fans, free has never sounded so good. Dan Patrick at 9. This is worth waking up for. Jay and Zach at noon. Tuning in at exactly the right time. You're locked into the Pat and Aaron Show streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Seven o'clock hour on the Pat and Aaron Show. Happy Monday morning. A great weekend of sports behind us and a great week of sports ahead of us. The Tampa Bay Rays winning their series out west in Colorado. Now they'll start one, a three-game series with the Los Angeles Angels. We'll see what they can do completing that west road trip. But also the Tampa Bay Lightning. They are done with their road trip. And they're back home tomorrow night, Tuesday, to take on Columbus. They've got five games remaining on the regular season. And really tough matchup for them against Pittsburgh. A day game, really tough to get up for those 1 o'clock games uh, on a Saturday afternoon. Slow start for them. For the, you or for them, you think? For them. For them. For me, it's easy. That's like dinner time for me. I, dinner time. Slow start for them. 
But boy, did they pick it up. And what a third period for them to claw back, crawl into that game and tie that game up, eventually losing the game. But just shows the fight and the resiliency uh, from this team who didn't really need the win. It would have been nice. Pittsburgh needed it more than them. Uh, but it's it, nonetheless a good fight for them. So we'll see down the stretch what they're able to do here. But really, that's the resiliency, Pat, that we've seen from them. It's part of their championship makeup. I had to watch the highlights after the game because uh, Heidi and I went to the the, that adult Easter egg hunt, the kegs and eggs adult Easter egg hunt on Saturday. And then uh, I, I remember looking at one point and being like, oh my God, they're down, I think it was like four to one. And I was, I we went out, we grabbed some food on the way home and I was talking to a guy at the restaurant, like, what the hell, what's going on? You know, and I get home and I looked and saw that they ended up being five to four. And, uh, you know, you just, you have to be happy with the way this team is fighting right now, even when you've seen at times, and it's easy to do in a season as long as the hockey season is, but there's some times where you get down and, and not that you're just giving up, but you can tell that with body language and that kind of thing that you know you've been beaten. We've talked about that just recently with, with other sports. Um, there clearly was none of that on Saturday by the Tampa Bay Lightning, and there hasn't been any of that for some time with this team. And you look at that third period. It was everybody. It was all over that stat sheet. You had Nicholas Paul, who is looking really good. Asamont, Chafee, Duclair scored a goal. Stammer, you know, a power play goal once again and from his office, but kind of fell down, slid down a little bit uh, to, to, to and found an, a nice little opening and kind of manipulating that area and, and tricking the defender, if you will, into kind of falling into place behind him and finding that perfect angle. And Nikita Kucherov just doing what he he continues to do, finding his teammates, scoring when they need him. But the assist rate for him this year, what he's been able to do to help his teammates out, he is, it is not even close. We'll get into some numbers in this hour a little later on, but some stunning numbers as to why it's an obvious choice for him to be MVP this season. Yeah, I hope uh, that, that they do the obvious thing because, you know, we've talked with, with both uh, Braden Coburn, who, of course, joins us every Tuesday, and also Greg Wyszynski about, you know, their concerns that he may not win it just because of, of narrative, because people want to see, uh, you know, those other two guys potentially win it. But, you know, you mentioned Nick Paul, and I just I love the way he's been playing lately. A lot of goals in, in the last like week or two. And just whenever you see a guy like that and, and we've seen him, you know, in, in previous runs be really good for this team. When, when you see a guy like that starting to play his best hockey right before the playoffs. It's really encouraging because you're going to need really everyone playing their best hockey in a couple weeks. Once again, back on the ice at home tomorrow night for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And I did mention the Rays winning two out of three against the Rockies. They'll start a series against the L.A. Angels today. But tonight is all about the men's national championship in college basketball. Uh Uh-oh. Get ready. The field started at 68. It is now down to two teams. The battle of the top seeds, number one, Purdue, going up against number one, UConn. UConn opened up as a six-point favorite, and that game tip off tonight at 920. 920. Six and a half right now, by the way, on the Hard Rock Sportsbook app. Did open at six, but yeah, it's six and a half right now. Um, I, I said you listen, and and we've talked about it. I've got Purdue in a pool where I can win five hundred dollars if Purdue wins. I won't be surprised if they find a way to pull it out. I also won't be surprised if Connecticut wins by twenty five. I said that to you earlier today. I know you said you would be surprised. It's a lot I of just, points I, when they have guys it, like Ed, Ed, Purdue. I mean, that's tough. It's a ton of points, and I don't expect it to happen. You got to shoot the lights out. Well, I, I think first UConn is the team that is much more apt to blow out Purdue than vice versa. Uh, Not that I'm saying anything that nobody doesn't know when I say that, but I I just, to me, if Purdue wins, it's a close game. If UConn wins, it could be close and it could just be an absolute blowout. I would not be shocked. Um, I just think their guard play is a lot better. And you think about Purdue, they struggled against NC state, uh, especially early with their guard play and, the tournament always comes down to guard play, and UConn has just been killing everyone. Yeah, Newton has been so good, but it was Castle in the Final Four game that was, I mean, he looked like an NBA player, Castle did in that Final Four game. And a lot of times, we don't, it's not the best players, like the guys that you hear about all the time in college hoops, that become the best NBA players. It's a lot of role guys that like are just like sneaky athletic really good, good vision, depending on what position they play. And they, they just become good NBA players. And there's some guys in that in this tournament right now. I don't know what Edie's going to be. He's been two-time player of the year. 
I don't know how he'll be able to move in the NBA. He's so big, but he's not like a, he's not a Wemby big where he's wiry. He's so thick yeah. that you don't know. For both of them, I don't know what's going to become it's that so body. It's so funny because it used to be looked at as such a positive. It used to be looked at as such an advantage to be a big, thick post player. And now it's just been, it's not taken out of the game, but it's just, it's it's such a smaller part of the game than it used to be. You always wanted, you wanted and needed that you wanted that big post presence that could get down there that's going to eat up rebounds, which obviously you want rebounders, but that post game as far as offensively, it's just not what it used to be. Now you need guys that are that size that can move very well, but also can shoot from beyond the arc. I'm going to give you a name we both love. And I wonder to make myself how valuable he'd be in today's game versus when he played Pat Ewing. Yeah. Right? Like not like athletic, but not that. Remember his knees were like a mess forever. Like I love that little floater in the lane. I always tried to duplicate it when I played, and you know when I, when I played NBA basketball. When I played basketball, um, like I loved his game. I just wonder in today's NBA, would he be the player that he that he was? You know, yeah, you got to be athletic. You got to be Dwight Howard. Kind of started it, and it and it and it continue to evolve from there. Now you guys have guys like Wemby, who's seven five, shooting three pointers at a good clip. Yeah, that's the thing. Dwight Howard was athletic and could do a lot of things. Like physically, was great in the paint and Couldn't stuff. Shoot. Wasn't yeah, wasn't the ball handler or the shooter that some of these seven footers are today. I thought Purdue taking care of business against number eleven, the uh, darlings of the tournament, if you will, in NC State and the Final Four on Saturday. I thought that was uh, a very telling sign of what Purdue is. They're a very tough team. they the matchup was awful. For for NC State because the size differential. They just could. DJ Burns, who had been so effective throughout the tournament, could not get going at all, and the team suffered for it. And DJ Horn was good, but he wasn't great. But UConn, what they were able to do, Alabama hung in there, but Alabama was shooting like 80% from beyond the arc. They, I think they were 8 of 11 in the first half. Yeah. That's and, not, a, not usually sustainable. They were losing. That was a bad sign. Yeah. UConn winning at the half with Alabama shooting 80% from beyond the arc. Right away, I was like, Alabama cannot win this game. That just shows how dominant UConn is. At a clip like that, and you're shooting a lot of threes, and you're making them, and you're losing, you know the percentages, like you said, that's going to even out. So when it did, there was no chance for Alabama against UConn. Which is why I think that tonight could potentially be a blowout. I do think Purdue is better than Alabama, but is their guard play better? And if you're shooting threes and you're not making them, sometimes things can get pretty lopsided. Want to give our picks? Um, sure. I'm taking Purdue because I need them to win. <laughs> I think UConn's going to, though. So you think UConn's going to win, yeah. but you're taking Purdue because you want that for yeah, your money. I want so my you can money. win. Um, I'm going to go UConn. I think it's going to be a closer game than people expect. I think UConn's going to win by five points. I got UConn by 20. By wow. twenty, I think they're gonna hey. pull. I think they're gonna pull away at the end. It's gonna be double digits. All right, there you go, double digits. Uh, so we both have UConn, and you've got Purdue, Donovan. So you're, yeah, I do. Uh, so you're saying, but I kind of also have UConn. So you're saying, play the minus six and a half. I think so. Are yeah. you calling it a lock? <clears throat> it's a lock. Good Man. thing the locked up monster hasn't really uh, come to bite Casey Warner. We it's know been for too you. long. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Hey, listen, uh, that the locked up monster a hit for some people. You want to know what else is a hit? Every S- time. Suncoast Credit Union. Every hit is a win with Suncoast Credit Union. Returning for the second year, every hit is a win with Suncoast. It's an initiative designed to engage with Tampa Bay Rays fans, you, and support nonprofit organizations in Florida. It was incredible last year what Suncoast Credit Union did for the local nonprofits here in the area. <clears throat> Excuse me, and they tied it to the Tampa Bay Rays. Here's how it works. Every time a Rays player gets a base hit during a game, Suncoast Credit Union donates $90 in honor of their 90th anniversary they collect those donations throughout the month and they'll donate up to ten thousand dollars per month to local nonprofit profit organizations it's very easy as well head to suncoast.com raise every month to vote for one of the two local nonprofits and the vote
vote percentage for each organization, that's going to determine the donation amount they're going to receive. So everybody wins here. And for the month of April, we've got two local nonprofits. Pat and I are getting behind one of them, one each. I'm getting behind Zoo Tampa. Went out there a couple weeks ago. It's incredible the work they do out there. They're a champion for wildlife. They're dedicated to the conservation of endangered and threatened species. The zoo and its David A. Straz Jr. Manatee Critical Care, they were voted among the best zoos and best zoo exhibits in USA Today. 10 Best Reader's Choice Travel Awards, Zoo Tampa. It's amazing. If you haven't been out there, I'm, I'm telling you, you want to check it out. It's right here in our backyard. But also the work they do, it is so important for the conservation. I love Zoo Tampa, but I got to tell you, this month for me, I'm all about the Humane Society of Tampa Bay for more than 100 years. I didn't realize it's been that long. But, yeah, for more than 100 years, the Humane Society of Tampa Bay has been dedicated to their vision of leading the way because every life counts when it comes to animals and i'll tell you what i love the humane society personally i know that uh when we got our dog jonas we were significantly more broke than we are and because of the humane society we were able to get jonas neutered we actually did that through the humane society so if uh you're you know you're, you're struggling financially but you have a pet that needs to get spayed or neutered they can help out there also their adoption programs they have affordable veterinary services they help out with pets they help out with strays the humane society has been just such an unbelievable uh part of this community and really every community around so certainly i'd like you to go vote for the humane society of tampa bay this month two great local nonprofits. head to suncoast.com slash raise and please vote on the other side this is pretty wild the pitch clock is it to blame for the recent uptick in injuries to pitchers? Well, the MLBPA says so. We'll talk about it next on the Pat and Aaron Show. Did you ask P. Fairbanks? WDAE traffic update. A wreck on northbound 75 before MLK in the left-hand lane. Traffic jammed up from before the Summon Expressway. Southbound 75, also very slow south of Big Bend Road. Crash near Sun City at 674. It's off to the right-hand side. Construction still causing delays in St. Pete. Southbound 275 slow between 175 and 22nd Avenue South. And increasing traffic in Tampa. Southbound 275 between Fowler Avenue and and downtown with traffic. I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Lowe's. Pros, save big when you buy in bulk at Lowe's. Save 10% when you buy 68 or more select OSB sheathing because Lowe's knows pros. Selection varies by location while supplies last. Discount taken at time of purchase. See sales associate for details. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works? Works just the same, but is 95% cheaper. And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through hymns, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at hymns, so is treating it. Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. This March, it's time to join the winning team for your home loan needs with HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. Right now, homeowners' debt is madness with credit card rates going through the roof. It's time to march into savings with Howard Team Home Loans and see what options work best for you. John and his team can coach you on your individual needs, so it's time to break away from high interest rates and get off the bench and experience the slam dunk of a deal with home loans by getting started today at HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. Lower LLC and MLS 1124061. Equal housing opportunity. Terms and conditions apply. Your floors can go from clean to dirty fast. From juice spills, whoops, to muddy paw prints, to little sticky finger marks. Good thing your Swiffer WetJet works fast too. Swiffer WetJet easily cleans everyday messes as quick as they happen. The next mess is right around the corner. So grab your Swiffer WetJet and just spray, push, all clean.
Rivard Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RevardBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Rivard Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. This report is sponsored by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. What could you do in 15 minutes? How about a premium oil change? At Valvoline Instant Oil Change, our certified technicians will guide you in, use only premium products, and get you back out on the road in no time. Quick, easy, trusted. That's Valvoline Instant Oil Change. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock. But our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny. Our highs right around 84. Stuck in traffic? Signal cutting out? Get online. Download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Welcome back to the Pat and Aaron Show. I think we're all pretty happy with the pitch clock and what it has done for Major League Baseball. It is static. Yeah, it has shortened the games by almost half an hour from the average of last season, which you've been to a baseball game, that is significant. And that's not like a half an hour here. That is half hour average throughout the entire season. So we know, especially the way the Rays play, a lot of close games, a lot of low-scoring ball games because they're relying on pitching and defense. They like to keep their opponents low-scoring as well. Sometimes their bats aren't alive, and those games can go pretty quickly, and they're really enjoyable. I love a good pitching effort, a low-scoring game, and I don't want to be sitting around as a... I'm a baseball guy. I don't want to be sitting around for four hours at a ballpark. We just have too much going on in in our daily lives these days. I like when the the Rays keep their opponents low-scoring. Uh, on the other side, I do like a little bit of runs. So, yeah, I do like runs, too. But it, it, a good pitching duel, uh, highly desirable for me, at least. And the pitching clock, and, and I'm a guy who's t- typically a traditionalist with Major League Baseball rules. Don't love a lot of rule changes. I think, I think they've gotten it right on a lot of the recent rule changes. It's it's improved the game. The pitch clock, none better than that, than that as far as improving the game. You know what I, I thought we would notice more? And I guess... Maybe that was naive, I guess, in a way. But I thought we would notice the lack of a shift a lot more than we have. Yeah, no, we, no, it, it, you're right. We haven't. It hasn't been as impactful um, as the pitch clock. Well, I think it, it maybe is more impactful than we realize because there's balls getting through the infield that wouldn't have. But when it comes to the pitch clock specifically, the point of this conversation is the pitch clock because the MLBPA has, has stepped in now, and this is worrisome if you like the pitch clock. Because the head of the Baseball Players Association, Tony Clark, he thinks that the shorter pitch clock has contributed to a series of pitcher injuries. So he thinks the pitcher's not giving up, not getting enough time to walk around the mound, grab the rubs and bag. What does that do for you? Spin a couple times. I have no idea. This is where, and I'd like to reach out to our friends at Florida Orthopedic Institute, get a doctor on, um, even though we're not in football season, we love them. And I want to talk about this because yeah. why I thought the same exact thing, Pat. What would an extra 10 seconds of them loitering around the mound do for their arm health. It doesn't real. I'm not a doctor, but it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense as far as the 10 extra seconds of recovery before you're throwing a high leverage pitch, a high velocity pitch right away. You know why this is extremely concerning? Because we've already heard whispers that there might be some labor strife that we might not have a uh, labor peace for all that long when it comes to major league baseball in the union. And this could be one more thing. If, the players are saying, hey, we want this and we want that. And the owners don't want to budge on a lot of stuff. A lot of times we know there's little little things given, little things taken and during these negotiations. And this is one of those things that you could see because it's not a financial aspect, because it's not something that's going to cost the owners money. You could see them buckling on this if it were part of 
a negotiation towards a new uh, collective bargaining agreement. Recently, we've seen pitchers like Shane Bieber go down, Spencer Strider. We've seen big names go down. Major League Baseball, of course, is pushing back on the union statement. And their point, and I agree with Major League Baseball on this, they're pointing to a three-decade increase in pitcher injuries and the clock was implemented last year. Yeah. Which is bizarre, by the way. That is for three decades, it's continuing to increase, and we can't figure out anything to slow it down. And I was doing a little research on it yesterday, and I typically tend to go with the guys who have been doing it for a long time, the doctors who have been you know, highly reputable over the years, and I think Dr. James Andrews is certainly one of those. Um, I found it interesting when I saw his comments on this, and he said it really is... It's not so much the pitch clock. It's underdeveloped kids. He's seeing more of these injuries in kids because they're underdeveloped and they're going to velocity training facilities when their arms are not ready to be pumping out that type of velocity. And that's the problem is parents aren't caring enough about their kids' health. And by the time they reach the majors, their arms are, are messed up. So they can still reach that velocity. But you look at Drew Rasmus and you look at guys within the Rays organization and it's like every – Shane Boz. It's made, across baseball. It's across baseball and maybe a lot of these guys did the damage younger when they were younger and maybe we have to start going back much like football is changing the way kids are tackling and they're By the doing way, it. this is something Doug Wechter has said to us mm -hmm. where maybe you want to work on your kids be becoming a good pitcher without that velocity and just hope that as they get older and the training that goes with it the velocity comes with it and if it does you're child is more likely to become more successful in the league because he's going to have a longer lifespan in the league. Probably, right? Probably, it's it's, so, hard, it's so hard to know for sure because I feel like, listen, if it were an exact science, people would have implemented it But by now, right? Like when we say, and I know it wasn't really your point, but when you say like parents don't care enough about their kids' health, I think it's more about they're just not knowledgeable enough about what is important because even up to the major league level, we just we don't know. We don't really know, or they would have done something about it. In the research in the lab that they've done, uh, the research lab, Dr. James Andrews says, baseball, developmental sport, we know this, the Tommy John ligament matures at about the age of 26. Oh, wow. 26. That is bizarre. So even younger guys in the league are really doing a lot of damage to themselves. And you really, in high school, he says the red line where you're starting to do some damage is when you're going above 80 miles per hour. And, you know, we talked with Doug Wechter about his son. His son's young. His son's got years ago in high school. And he's getting, you know, I believe around, 90, 90, miles, right? yeah, yeah. around 90 miles an hour. I don't think mid-90s yet. But he's living there. So it's it's very a dangerous time we're at. I'd be interested to hear what Steve Carney has to say. We will try to get a doctor from the Florida Orthopedic Institute in the next couple of days. Steve's practically a doctor. Not only that, but also Steve has been uh, working the pitch clock. So we'll have a big conversation with Steve about that and the Tampa Bay Rays on the other side. But first, Pat... You and John Mola looking fantastic. That's right. And feeling fantastic as well because, uh, listen, the reality is, as a lot of us, when I got over 40, I started losing some of the energy that I had. I just wasn't the same guy when it came to energy that I was in my 20s, and I knew I needed to do something about it. And I really know why, but the reason why for me is, like it is for most men, when we get into our 40s, we lose testosterone. Not most men. All men lose testosterone when they get into their 40s. And if you've been... Kind of feeling a little sluggish lately. Maybe you just realize you don't have the same energy you did in your 20s. It's time to do something about it. Do something about it with age rejuvenation. You'll build more muscle. You'll lose more weight. And you'll just feel better every day. AgeRejuvenation.com to find out more. Steve Carney will join us next. We'll talk about the pitch clock. And if they are leading to more arm injuries from pitchers, that and an update on the Rays next. Play ball! The most complete rundown on all things baseball across Tampa Bay and around the majors. It's the Inside Pitch with Ronnie Lane. Swing a drive, deep to left, go! Presented by the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network and the Department of Children and Families. 60 minutes before every weekday race game. Right here on the radio home of every race game in 2024. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. The home of the race. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Some things in life you can just rely on. Like the faithful friend who always comes when you call. Your fishing buddies and the tried-and-true performance of a new Rude Home AC system. So here's to reliability built into everything we do. Rely on Rude. 
Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rood Pro Partner. Go to RoodACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rood Pro Partner today. That's RoodACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Dealing with your gutters is a swing and a miss. Let the Rhino Gutter Experts pinch hit for you. Schedule now and you can get a $300 discount on services. Plus, the Rhino offers military and senior discounts. So don't wait. Go to therhino.com and schedule services today. The Rhino, hitting home runs all day. Spring's here and your home to-do list is getting longer. Don't stress. Ierna's Heating and Cooling has you covered 24-7 with cooling and plumbing solutions to fit any budget. From minor upgrades to major repairs, no matter your home's needs, we get it done and get it done right the first time. Schedule your seasonal AC tune-up today. Avoid costly breakdowns when our certified technicians inspect your system, ensuring it runs efficiently and remove built-up dust, pollen, and dander so you can breathe easier. Book now at IernaAir.com forward slash radio. Since 1985, Fates Electric has proudly served as Tampa's premier electrical contractor. As a veteran-owned and operated company, we bring a commitment to excellence in both commercial and residential projects. Our 24-7 gold service is Tampa's most recommended electric contractor. Our dedicated electricians prioritize quality workmanship and unparalleled client communication, ensuring your project is on time and completed to perfection. See why our clients rave about Bates Electric. Power on, power on, power on, Bates Electric. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Come bowl with Big Rig and Producer X at 98 Rocks Bowling for Balls at Pin Chasers on April 13th. Featuring bowling, food, and fun. Proceeds go to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. For tickets and more information, visit 98rock.com. Sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Alt 2K, a commercial free look back to alternative from the 2000s. Just search Alt 2K and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Play ball. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. We are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Rays fans around the globe. Over 20 years and counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. Welcome back to the Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE AM620. We're going to have Steve Carney on in just a few minutes here, but... We got some people on the line? We do have some people on the line, which is exciting. I didn't know the phones were working. Let's go to Chris in Tampa. Chris, good morning. We were... Hey, Chris. Uh, we're on the B side. I don't know how this happens. We should never be. And we were just talking uh, the about B-side. the pitch clock and how Tony Clark, the head of the Players Association, is blaming the pitch clock for more injuries to the pitchers. Good morning, Chris. Hey, what's up, Gerds? What's up, man? I don't know much. Hey, I think it's the view. I really do. It's just nobody pitches nine innings anymore. Nobody throws 120 pitches. If you watch Verlander 10, 10 years ago in his career, he'd start a game 88, 92, and then when it push came to shove, come the eighth inning, when he would gas it out. When he knew it was his last inning out there, eighth, maybe even ninth inning, he'd give you everything he's got in the tank, and then you'd see the view pick up. And you just don't see that anymore. These guys know they're only going to pitch six innings. That's all they want out of them. Turn it over to the bullpen. And they're throwing as hard as they can, gripping it as hard as they can for as long as they can in those six innings. Yeah, it's certainly a and good call. Thank you for the call, Chris. It, it's certainly a, a big concern right now. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, I mean, we're seeing guys throw harder than we've ever seen before. We've seen the sticky stuff been taken out of the equation. Um, you know, the way guys are gripping baseballs. You've got guys that aren't throwing the same. They're throwing four-seam fastballs, two-seam fastballs. Everything's added to the arsenal, and their arm angles are changing as well. Eight eight eight. Which the Rays love that, which could be why having multiple arm angles, which could be why we're seeing guys with a lot of injuries. Yeah, no doubt. Eight 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 five four six. Six four six twenty. We also have a four pack of Rays tickets. Goons Getaway Day. We're going to be giving away here shortly. But we are efforting to get Steve Carney uh, on the phone eight 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 five four six four six twenty. If you'd like to join the show, we'll get Ryan in real quick while we're dialing out to Steve. Ryan, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. How you doing? We're well. What you got? Uh, I'm, I'm just calling about uh, the pitch clock. It, it's uh, I was a college coach. Uh, I've talked to you guys before. I played with the Pirates. Um, 
uh, for a little bit. And the pitch clock is actually, uh, I don't think, has anything to do with it. When, he, when we throw in bullpens, we're not, you know, taking our 15, 20 seconds between pitches. We get the ball back from the catcher. We're ready to go. We're ready to work on things. So it's not that. It's uh, The last caller was pretty correct when he talked about velo and spin, which is curveball, slider, cutter, when they're working on those, and the velocity. They're going to these ranches uh, like Tread, Arm Factory, Baseball Ranch, uh, Drive Line, where they're throwing weighted balls to increase their velocity, which is uh, changing how the arm moves. So if you go to Verlander like he was talking about, when his foot lands, his arm is up at a 90-degree angle, which takes stress off that area. If you watch guys pitch now when their foot lands, their arm is flat. So what happens is now that whip action happens later, and so that's what's causing a lot of these Tommy John injuries. I've had Tommy John myself. Uh, I was uh, 23 at the time when I had Tommy John. Um, but it, it's uh, it's more so that that's what's creating the injuries is the effort and intent to get the velocity, which kids that are 14 to 18 years old are now going to these factories and paying these money to go get that stuff done. Yeah, really good insight, Ryan. Really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, as a guy who has gone through it himself and is dealing and, you know, coaches kids as well, you know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, let's go to another guy who knows, and thank you, Ryan. Let's go to another guy who knows exactly what he's talking about. The great Steve Carney, stpete9.com, 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 at Steve Carney on Twitter X, whatever you like to call it. Steve, how you doing, buddy? Good morning, Aaron. Yeah, uh, probably the closest thing I've had to Tommy John is I've had Hoppin' John. That is uh, uh, what, what you usually have when you have a hangover. <laughs> well, listen, we're talking about the pitch clock and Tony Clark. I don't know if you saw his comments saying that the pitch clock is, is hurting pitchers' arms. Um, do you see any truth to that? Because, I mean, I think I heard Dr. James Andrews talking about kids are just throwing way too much velocity at a young age. Um, what What do you think of, of what Tony Clark said, Steve Carney? And I know you operate the pitch clock, so you can't go too deep into it, I'm assuming. But give us what you can, please. Yeah, I, I, I think that Tony Clark is, you know, trying to look out for his players, uh, which is what you expect the executive d director of the Players Union to do. But, you know, uh, you look at what, uh, you know, not just what Dr. Andrews said, but Dr. Keith Meister, who has done uh, a ton of uh, the Tommy John surgeries uh, in the league, including uh, Drew Rasmussen's and Shane McClanahan's. Uh, uh, he, he said that it's not just the velocity, but even more so it's the spin that that's being uh, applied to the baseball nowadays. Uh, you know, Tyler Glass now had the same thing. He's, he said that, you know, these sweepers put so much pressure on the inside of the elbow, the power changeups that guys are throwing now is, is also, also does the same thing where all that pressure goes to where the where the ligament is, and it just shreds ligaments. And uh, until uh, you know, teams say, okay, we need to get away from that and the velocity, and, and not go full max effort every time out. You know, I think I think you're gonna still you're gonna see this uh, happening more and more often. It's not just the pitch clock. Steve, the Rays are 500, 10 games into the season. I think they're a better than 500 team. I'm just not sure how much better. In your opinion, uh, do they have uh, enough to be consistent enough to win between 90 and 100 ball games again? Yeah, I, I think they do, Pat. I, I think that, um, you know, there there's a lot of moving parts right now. Uh, you know, this is a team without Josh Lowe, without Johnny DeLuca, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, some of the, some of the guys that they're going to get back from injury, you know, a Taylor walls and the, and the, and such, uh, I think will, will certainly help, uh, you know, once they come back here, probably sometime the very beginning of next month. Uh, I think that that's, uh, certainly a big piece. I think they're going to figure out what's going on with the bullpen. Uh, you know, I don't think that Pete Fairbanks and, Jason Adam and and uh, are going to be as 
uh, rough as they have been here through the first couple of weeks of the season. So I, I think they, they can get to that point. But I, I think that uh, the other thing that I, I think that is going to help is that, you know, they've had, apart from the Colorado series, I think they had a really rough start. I mean, you start with the, the Blue Jays who are expected to be very good this year and the defending World Series champions. Uh, and you're coming out five and five after your first three series. I don't think that's such a bad thing. And I think you have to be really encouraged by what we saw from Ryan Pepio yesterday. A historic start for a visiting pitcher in a historically tough place to pitch at Coors Field. Um, I, I think the sky's the limit for this kid if he, and the big thing is, if he stays healthy. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Um, I think that, uh, uh, you know, people were like, oh, no, uh, you know, we, why? What are we doing trading Tyler Glass now? And 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 all of a sudden you see what what Pepio did last uh, yesterday at Coors Field. It's not the first time that he's had success at Colorado, um, and and hopefully it's a it's a good thing to build on. That's for sure, Aaron. What did you think of Pete Fairbanks' comments on Friday night? And can you think of another player? Because we were talking about this earlier, and you're like, we knew you're our encyclopedia. Can you think of another player who's been as consistent? for years as Pete Fairbanks, who often says some really bizarre things after games. Well, I, I, I remember uh, Tyler Glass now talking about how uh, there was a time that, that uh, I, I forget if it was in Chicago or if it was one of those, uh, one of his previous starts right before he had Tommy John surgery, where he was saying that the, the baseballs, you know, didn't feel right. They felt like they were, uh, covered in uh, in dust, uh, you know, or they, they just didn't feel right, and so nobody wants uh, dusty balls. Tyler, yeah, yeah, nobody likes <laughs> dusty balls. Exactly. And then there's your sound drop, drop Casey. Uh, so uh, I, I certainly think that um, you know you you've seen some some guys will will say some some crazy stuff, but you know Fairbanks has the. Uh, Renault syndrome that that sometimes will affect his hands, and I, I'm sure he doesn't want to use that as an excuse. Um, so you know, sometimes they just say things. Uh, Steve Carney joining us, St. Nine dot com, St. Nine dot com, St. Nine dot com. You mentioned the bullpen briefly earlier, and I agree with you. I mean, last year they had similar struggles early on in the season for a while, actually, and I was saying, don't worry, they'll figure this thing out, and they certainly did. I like there are guys like right now that Phil Maton is a good example. Like you can see the stuff. You can see that as long as he stays healthy, guys like that are going to figure this out sooner rather than later. Yeah, absolutely. And and the good thing about the front office, Aaron, is that if they feel like they they can find a way to improve the bullpen, they'll do it. I mean, you saw it last year where they rebuilt the bullpen on the fly. Uh, last year and did it pretty much for nothing. You know, they went out and they signed Jake Diekman and they got Zach Littell on a waiver claim and they used a prospect that they weren't going to, uh, to use and got Robert Stevenson for him. So, uh, you know, that's the beauty of this front office is they are never stopping uh, trying to improve what the, uh, what the pitching staff looks like. And they are so, good at, at doing it uh, on the fly and finding pieces that fit uh, in places that you probably aren't looking. Well, there you have it. We're always looking for the great insight. We always get it from Steve Carney, stpete9.com, stpete9.com, stpete9.com. We love you, Steve Carney, and we'll catch up with you soon. I'll see you at the Trop, I'm sure, in a, in a little, bit, little bit here when they come back home. Uh, of course, you know it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Uh, Casey, if you could drop Steve Carney, please. I'm, I don't have the phones in front of me. On the other side, things I like. A lot to get to. I know Pat's excited about WrestleMania. Casey had the day off Friday. We'll see what he got into. And I'll tell you about some exciting things from my weekend. Get some sports in there as well. But I want to tell you about my friends at Trajan Wealth because they are here at Trajan Wealth to help you reach your investment goals. And how they do that, they tailor the goals to your specific needs. Needs. And they're going to work closely with you at Trajan Wealth to make your path to retirement an easy and a comfortable one. So if you're concerned with the uncertainties of retirement planning, and you should be, it's natural. 
I was always taught to prepare for the future. Trajan Wealth, they're going to help you prepare for the future as well. TrajanWealth.com. Their consultations are complimentary, so no need to wait. 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Or you can check out their website at TrajanWealth.com, a family-owned and veteran-led business by Jeff Jr., who's been doing it for over two decades. They're going to help you at Trajan Wealth develop a plan that gives you peace of mind. So give them a call today. 813-550-1000. We're talking about wealth management and retirement planning. TrajanWealth.com. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor paid advertisement. Things I like on the other side. From the Safe Touch Security Traffic Center. WDAE. Traffic update. Tough ride through Brandon, northbound 75, jammed up from the Selman Expressway to MLK, crash off to the left-hand side there. Also, we're seeing big delays on southbound 75 from before Big Bend Road to 674, crash on the right-hand shoulder in that area. Delays on the Memorial Causeway, eastbound near Island Way, and a crash in Largo on Clearwater Largo Road near 8th Avenue Southwest. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by ExpressPros.com. If you're ready for a new job, let Express Employment Professionals help you. Express is already hiring for summer jobs in a variety of industries. Job seekers never pay a fee at Express. Go to ExpressPros.com to find your location. That's ExpressPros.com. Hey, it's Boost Mobile here with a great deal to keep you connected and help you make the most of your tax refund. When you switch to Boost, you get four lines for 100 bucks plus four free 5G smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy A15 5G or the Moto G Stylus 5G. We're here to bring you the best phones on America's largest 5G network so you can get after it. Switching is easy. Just head to your local Boost Mobile store for four lines and four phones for $100. New customers only. Requires ID verification. Select markets only. Other restrictions apply. See participating dealers for details. Guys, if you or a loved one has been injured in an accident, you got to call my guys over at Catania Catania injury law experts the top rated personal injury firm in Tampa they've been doing this since 1992 you can call them 24 7 365 and they're proud to say they have successfully recovered over 500 million dollars in counting for injury victims just like you so give my friends over at Catania Catania a call 813-222-8545 or online at CataniaCatania.com Catania Catania putting families first office Tampa not attorney spokesman we are connected internationally we have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades sources all over the world international diamond centers owner keith leclerc explains how idc always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond we buy direct from the cutters we pay cash and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups with his background as a wholesaler keith says idc's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume we're not here to sell you something for a quick buck so it comes down to better sourcing and low markups that's why we guarantee the best value price If you're buying a diamond, engagement ring, or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. And online at shopidc.com. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming. Save money with member-only offers and earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards just for you. Because Lowe's knows you earned it, literally. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Rewards. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details. Subject to change. Homeowners, join Ridgetop Exteriors for our grand opening event in Clearwater, April 19th from 2 to 6 p.m. Get to know your neighborhood's preferred contractors and enjoy free food from local food trucks, a bounce house for the kids, and more. See why Ridgetop Exteriors is the trusted choice for homeowners just like you. Join us April 19th, 2 to 6 p.m. at Ridgetop Exteriors' newly remodeled showroom, 10810 U.S. Highway 19 North in Clearwater. Find us online at ridgetopexteriors.com. This re- Report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that from blueberry pancakes to blueberry smoothies, almost everything is better with Florida blueberries. In season now, look for Fresh from Florida blueberries at your local grocery store. 
We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock. But our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny. Our highs right around 84. WDAE.com for all your Tampa Bay sports needs and more. Now, back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Here's a list of the things I like. These things are the things I like. Here's a list of the things I like. This list is a list of the things I like. I like vacuum toads and a tight-fitting shirt. I like cookboard pizza and cuts that hurt. I like reverse the meat with fat. I like bunions on my feet that I can pick out. Here's a list of the things I like. These things are the things I like. Things I like on the Pat and Aaron Show, sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans. Dot com the madness I mean it's Saturday to have the final four it's like a bittersweet moment it's kind of like this Super Bowl or one of the championship games where in the NFL you know it's coming to a close it was a magical run it was fun the first weekend you know how intense it is games every couple minutes we were at Oak and Stone to kick it off um, and then now it's coming to an end but I'm surprised you're bringing this up during things I like considering you're so upset about the start time no well the start time sucks tonight but I am going to be watching I'm going to try to stay up as long as I can, and I'll be gambling. I'll be putting my money on UConn. Uh, so very happy about that, and really enjoyed watching the Rays battle all weekend long, win that series against Colorado, and really could have swept them. But after Should blowing, have swept them, <laughs> yeah. But blowing game one to come back and win game two and three, really good. And, and the Lightning, they lost against Pittsburgh at a one o'clock game on Saturday, but they fought so hard in that third period and showed me continue to show me they are not a team that you want to mess with in the playoffs. No, not at all. Not with the experience they have and with the additions that they've made recently. They, they're just playing some unbelievable hockey. Uh, I mentioned it a little bit on Friday, uh, but had a great time on Thursday night with Casey Warner. We went over to uh, the BYB over at BYB uh, Bare Knuckle Fighting over at the uh, Florida State Fairgrounds. Just a really fun night. Uh, Casey got to come check out the crib. I got to teach him about the shawarma. Uh, he now oh, understands nice. the deliciousness of the shawarma. Um, it was funny. I was like, you want some shawarma? He's like, yeah. And then he came over and looked at it and was like, oh, this is a lot. I just ate pizza. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Food for days, baby, always. <laughs> How was, uh, did you watch WrestleMania yesterday? I did last night and Saturday night. It's two uh, nights? It is two nights. Wait, hold on. That's why I kept seeing all this stuff on social media. I was like, wait, is it Saturday night or is it Sunday night? Yeah. They've been both. doing that, I think, uh, right around the pandemic, they were, or right before that. Like, they've been How doing do it they for end a little it? while they're like, now. They're like, we'll see you tomorrow. Is it like a concert where they're like, like, I've been to a fish four-night yeah. run at the Garden, and they're like, we'll see you tomorrow at maybe, the end of their show. May, I, I, maybe. Like, get home safely. You know, it's wrestling. Everyone just fights, and then everyone leaves. You mm-hmm. know? No, uh, get home safely. Uh, maybe. I don't remember from when I went because I went here in Orlando. I went to Orlando and I also went to the one in Tampa. Can I do a spoiler um, alert for people that haven't seen last night? Yeah, uh, the la- the main event is was terrible. Really? I th- wait, is that the one I heard? Undertaker came back. He did. Was that the main event? Undertaker, The Rock. That's cool. Cena. Isn't that cool? Uh, like, no. It was very gimmicky to me. Oh. It was very gimmicky. Is it, to wait, me. isn't all of wrestling gimmicky? Yes, but like the whole thing is a gimmick. Well, of course, the whole thing is a gimmick, but. The, the storyline is supposed to be about a, a wrestling match. At the end of the day, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to portray a sport. And it was, it just got very, to me, it got very cheesy at the end last night. Haven't you seen like the South Park episode? Every old wrestler is coming down to the ring to be involved in the match. It's just like, oh, God. It's nostalgia. That's great. Eh. You're lucky somebody didn't die. Well, yeah, I guess. Anytime I mean, you have old people like that. Die, like, anytime I see Ric Flair in a ring, and I love Ric Flair. I, I, hope, I know he lives around here. Maybe he's listening. I get concerned. Like, Hogan, when he goes into a ring, you get worried. Now, I've but seen Hogan. Do it, like, the only one that was really that old, because, like, Cena has wrestled recently. The Rock wrestled on Saturday night. So, and it's in great shape. Like, ridiculous yeah, shape. He's in movies. The only one that's, like, older, like, really, like, older, like, where you should worry about them in a ring is The Undertaker, and he literally came in, choke slammed The Rock, and that was it. Like, it wasn't he got like another, he, he got he a choke slam. Wrestle. Yeah. He got, they got to slam it. Yeah. That's what people wanted to see. They wanted to see Undertaker slam him. Uh, I, to me, it was... To, Dude, honestly, I want a tombstone. 
the, that main event wasn't great. Uh, I watched the documentary on Bray Wyatt this weekend, mm. who was Wyndham Rotunda. Of course, a lot of people know his sister, who was on the radio here for a while, Micah, and a lot of wrestling fans around here who know Bray Wyatt or Wyndham Rotunda. And he passed away a year ago? Uh, August, I believe yeah. it was. Uh, but they had a documentary on him, a couple hours long, just unbelievable. Like, I was crying. Like, it was a lot. But great, great to watch. Um, all right, and uh, also things I like. I, I want to mention this. I went on to Sarasota for a little bit to watch mm. the games uh, uh, over the weekend. Stop into Kelly's. I stopped into Kelly's. Uh, I knew it. I stopped into Kelly's. Dude, how good is that roast beef? Oh my god, it is insane. First of all, the aesthetics of it. Like I like when a place looks nice. Um, I love the setup of the place. It's I went to. There's two locations. One in St. Pete. One in the Bradenton, Sarasota area. University. It's right off of the interstate. So easy to get to. And Is that the I, one you went to? Yeah. Did and you I, see the picture of Kelly's on the Beach on the wall? No, I didn't. All right. There's was, a picture of the old original in Massachusetts. It was called Kelly's on the Beach in on Revere Beach. I used to go there all the time as a kid. I, see, that's right, because it is a Boston place. And I looked at the menu, and I'm like, oh, my God. I could eat everything right here. <laughs> I, if you get the roast beef, get it fully done, like with the barbecue sauce and the mayo. I actually went away. I just did mayo on mine. Oh, see, barbecue mayo, it is so good that they give you a little horseradish sauce on the side. I'm not a big horseradish guy. I, I love it. Like a little dabble, do you? I got the Reuben. I oh. got the the roast beef. I even got a hot dog there. Do yeah. you? How do you love a good? This sounds Liz. amazing. It's so. Go- I'm going to take you to Kelly's Roast. Where's it at? Is, it, is there one in Tampa? We'll you know, go, there's you one in been. St. Pete. We'll go to the one in okay, St. Pete. Gotcha. We went on the way to the Rays game that you couldn't make. You would have been able to go. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah. Ramon, I want to take. Let's find a day. I want to take you out for for a lunch or a dinner this week, Casey. And we'll let's go, go, go wherever you want to go. Remind me. We'll do that this week. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, wow. <laughs> I mean, the, the, it blew me away. I yeah. was like, Oh boy, we've got a hidden gem right here. So if you are around the area, Kelly's roast beef, you will thank me later. It's just so bloody, which is what you want. Yeah. You know, absolutely delicious. Yeah. Uh, what else did I get? I got something else. Cause they, Oh no, they had fish and chips. You didn't that get I the clams. To get. Did you? Didn't get the clams. Cause mm. I knew I, I was like, I'm already ordering a lot. I know full belly clams there. Uh, so what we did when we went to the Rays game, like I got a roast beef sandwich for myself, but I ordered a couple of orders of the roast of the, Fried clams for all of us to share. They were so good. They got milkshakes too. So, uh, yeah, Kelly's roast beef. <laughs> good job. Good stuff. You got a good product there. All right. That's Things I Like presented by Howard Team Home Loans.com. On the other side, college title game tonight. We've been talking about it in men's college hoops. We'll get to that. Will history be made? We'll discuss that. Plus, John Calipari. That's the big news this morning. Cal, Coach Cal, left Kentucky. We'll tell you where he's going and what it means for college basketball next. The Player of the Night. Presented by Rivard Buick GMC. The South Carolina Gamecocks are the national champions of women's basketball. After Don Staley's squad goes undefeated on the year, undefeated in the tournament, beats Caitlin Clark's Iowa 87-75. to Let's hear it for the head coach, Don Staley. We'll make her your Rivard Buick GMC player, even though she's a coach of the night. Rivard Buick GMC, no games, no gimmicks, no hidden fees. Check out that inventory at RivardBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. I am Zach Blobner, and of course, this is 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Rivard Buick GMC is the number two GMC dealer in the country, and they want to hold on to that number two. So they're going to keep doing what they've been doing to get there. Huge inventory, massive discounts, regardless of what time of the year it is. The middle, the end of the month, it doesn't matter. It's always a great deal. Unbeatable discounts. All you have to do is visit RivardBuickGMC.com. See for yourself. Try and find another dealer with discounts that insane on every vehicle. Rivard Buick GMC. GMC, we are professional grade. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow 
grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Did a nice tax refund put you in the market for a new car? Maybe you didn't get a refund and you need to free up some extra cash. Have you checked the value of your used car lately? Aaron Jacobson here, and you can find this out easily from GiveMeTheVin.com. Sell your car for the most money now at GiveMeTheVin.com. They are five-star rated by the Better Business Bureau for a reason. They're proud of that, and they should be. Top money, quick transactions, that's GiveMeTheVin.com. A 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. GiveMeTheVin.com and get your check on the spot. Hey, Rays fans, did you know that every hit is a win with Suncoast? Because Suncoast Credit Union is donating $90 for every Rays hit this baseball season. That's right, $90 per hit. And every hit up to $10,000 each month will go towards two local nonprofits. The best part? You get to influence the percentage of donation that each organization will receive. So come on, Rays fans. Vote for the nonprofit of your choice at suncoastcreditunion.com slash Rays. Tampa Golfers. Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on Sequence 3 H test versus API SP test limits. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, my mission has been to deliver more for our clients. Today, Morgan & Morgan has more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hi, this is Earl Ron. I'm the president of New South Window Solutions. What I like people to understand about our company is what's unique about us. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. We go out of our way to make it easy. Going on now. Save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. Good Greek moving is so rich. The superhero movers. Running to a meeting or just need to get away? No problem. Download the free iHeartRadio app where you can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. The reigning, defending, and undisputed home of Tampa Bay Sports Talk for over 20 years. We are 95.3 FM W237CW Pendellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brent. And the, and the mighty, mighty 620, 620 WDAE St. Petersburg. Streaming live right now on your free iHeartRadio app. All your sports, music, talk, and podcasts. Hey, hey, hey Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Free has never sounded so good. Sports talk for your ride home. On the drive with t Crash. This afternoon at 3. Now. Back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Pat and Aaron Show, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Don't miss the drive with Tom Crass and Nickley. Coming up at 3 o'clock stop today. Grooming. You've got to do it. You can't talk about the drive with Tom Crass and Nicky and not rev your engines. It's what we do. Stop revving at me. It's scary. Rev man. your engines with Tom Crass and Nicky at 3 o'clock. Don't miss J and Z, of course, coming up. 
at noon. And then at uh, Dan Patrick, uh, where are they at in that place uh, up there in the other place? I always um, forget where they're from. You know, Something he remember, with an M. It doesn't matter because we just say that because he said uh, our friends down there in Florida, whatever he said that one time, talking about us. Not What's us individually, w? but. I forget. Yeah. Up there somewhere. Uh, national championship game tonight. Lots to talk about, obviously, with the Rays and Lightning as well and the performance we got from Ryan Pepio. But national championship game tonight, 920, yeah. much to Aaron Jacobson's chagrin. Should be all your chagrin. Hey, listen, it's my chagrin as well. I'm not in the mood to bitch a little bit right now. But, hey, listen, it's a dumb time to start the game for those of us on the East Coast. That said, if I'm being objective, if I'm trying to understand that, like, it's not always all about us as much as I want it to be, you got to find a way to get the West Coast viewers in. And starting the game at 920 means it's at 620 on the West Coast, which, yeah, I, everything I hear about California, you're lucky if you get home by 620. Uh, you know, if you're a day guy or day girl, because the, the just the, the hours in traffic is insane. But regardless, you, you can't have it at four in the afternoon in the West Coast as much as I would love to see the game at seven o'clock out here. I think even five, five thirty is fair. Eight, eight thirty. I think there can be a compromise, but w- it's a shame because I think there's going to be a lot of people on the East Coast and may, I might be one of them that I might miss a, a really good second half of this ball game because yeah. I know I'll be up for the first half, but a lot of times my eyes start to get heavy and I can't help it. It's time to go to bed, but I think the matchup tonight now uh, going into it, my gut's telling me UConn's going to win this game. They're going to win the championship. They're going to win back-to-back titles, uh, and they're going to um, they're going to it's going to be a good game. But they're going to beat Purdue. What becomes really challenging when you're trying to predict a game like this, like Purdue against NC State, even though I had NC State hanging around. I thought Purdue was going to win because of the tough matchup for a guy like DJ Burns, who had used his body and size and touch. When you're going up against a seven foot five guy, or you know, a little less than that, was seven two, whatever he is. Uh, in he's 80, seven eight, he's enormous. He's so big, and he plays so big. When you're going up against Edie, it is such. It's hard to predict what's going to happen. It's hard to game plan because Edie's going to get fouled. Talking about this matchup against UConn. It's not a great free throw shooter. <laughs> he's not great. He's not horrible. Yeah. He's got decent okay. touch. Not the best touch. He's okay. But he's getting to the line almost 12 times a game. So if he can get to the line and make his free throws, but probably um, most important is Braden Smith, who is their second leading scorer, who really hasn't done much during the tournament. If he can get back to what he was doing during the regular season, shooting 10 percentage points higher from the field than he has been in the tournament. That could be the real difference. Maker. Showing up small. Yeah. Right. And that could be the real difference maker for Purdue. Do you want me to be a difference maker for you right now? Uh, you can try. I've no, 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 no. This will work. You got to listen to me now. I tell you all the time. And sometimes you come back to me and you're like, yeah, you were right. Well, listen to me. Um, you like myself, uh, confiscated a couple of the chairs from the old iHeartRadio building, right? Uh, I plead the fifth, but sure. Okay. Um, where are they? I noticed the last time I was there, I didn't see them in the living room. Are they in the other room now? Um, yeah, they're in the other room. You slide one of those out into the living room. You watch the game on that. I've been doing that with games. Like, I know if there's something I really want to watch, if it's late enough, if I'm on the couch, I'll sink right in. If I'm watching in bed, I'm going to nod off. But... If I pull that chair up, because it forces you can only lean back so much. If you want, you can lean forward, put your hands, your yeah, arms on your knees. I try things can like really this. get into it. I fall asleep like that. How I, I can fall sitting asleep straight up, hand, they, arms on the knees, like you're in a, like a you're in like a stance, like ready to go. Do they have drugs for this or something? Well, listen, if you want to go straight cocaine, that's up to you. I don't. Right? I'm trying I to stay. I'm trying to keep don't. you awake. I'm trying to use safe methods for staying awake, like a chair that will sit you up. I'll just pour coffee on my head. Um, uh, when you look at the ED matchup, Donovan Klingon, who I didn't think was great over the weekend in the final four game. Um, I think he has, if there's anybody who can stand up to ED, it will be him, a top rim protector, but he also doesn't have the thickness and the size of ED. Yeah. He's going to have to, we've seen good defensive players, not look like good defensive players against this kid. And he's going to have to be as, as far as I see it. The difference maker for UConn of keeping Edie, Edie's always going to impact this, the sheet. 
keeping him out of it as much as you can, that is going to be a huge role for Klingon today. Remember what you said earlier in the show about when you knew Alabama was effed because they were 8 for 11 in the first half from three-point range. And they were losing. Yeah, they lost at the end of the first half and went dominating from beyond the arc. I have I have a sneaky suspicion. And again, I'm pulling for Purdue. I got 500 bucks in the pocket if Purdue wins. So, like, this is important to me. That said, just watching the basketball I've watched to this point, I have a sneaky suspicion slash, for me, concern that Edie could have a really good night and it may not matter. It's like all those threes for Alabama did not matter. Edie can be really good and still not enough because UConn has been so good. Well, UConn couldn't miss a shot, it seemed like, in the second half of that game against Alabama. And typically we had been watching Tristan Newton be the best performer for this team and really leading the offense, but he wasn't really good in the Elite Eight. He wasn't really good in the Final Four game. It was Castle, who was just fantastic, who had been pretty good in the tournament, but 21-point breakout performance in that Final Four. So you got to shut both those guys down because you could see with Newton not being great in the Final Four game against Alabama, it was Castle who stepped up and vice versa. So you really have to shut them down and make sure Klingon uh, Klingin isn't taking Edie out of the game. They've, so won, they've won every game by at least 14 points. They went on a 30-0 run at one point during the tournament. That was the Elite Eight. That was wild coming yeah. out of the half. Yeah, either the Elite Eight or uh, Sweet, Sweet 16, 16 wasn't Sweet it? 16, San Diego yeah, State, same weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it was the same weekend. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, San Diego State, right? I think and it was I was in Sweet Vegas. 16, it was but... all a little hazy. <laughs> but I remember that run. I was in Vegas. It was during that weekend. It was just out of, it was wild. That game was a close game, and then UConn just blew it open. That should never happen in the Sweet 16. Like, you, you don't even expect it, but if a one... Versus a 16, right? If they go on a 30-0 run against Stetson, you go, okay. Even against Northwestern, who's a nine seed. Like, surprising, but not shocking. You get to the Sweet 16, you're playing a five seed in San Diego State. You should not be on a 30-0 run at any moment. So it's just insanity. We've got the two best teams all season long, the Huskies and the Boilermakers, going head-to-head, 920 tonight. UConn going for the back-to-back titles. I, it's very hard to predict for everything I just said how this game is going to go because things have to happen like for both teams. I There have been times where I look at UConn and go, hey, they can play poorly. They're still going to probably win this game. It's been a while. Yeah, these two teams, they're going to have to play a good brand of basketball, I believe, to win this game tonight. Um, I think if both teams play their best brand of basketball, UConn's got the edge, and that's why I'm going with UConn tonight. It's, yeah, it's been a long time since they haven't played really significantly Great basketball all the way till uh, was their loss to Creighton, which was a blowout loss to Creighton where they lost by 19 points. And, uh, you know, I was talking last week about uh, Hurley talking about that loss, talking about um, the other loss they had. They had the loss to Kansas, which was very close, but the loss to Seton Hall, the loss to Creighton. Uh, they got blown out in both of those games, but it's been a long time. I think weird things are going to happen in this game. Like weird well, kind of weird. I don't think you can throw it weird and not have like a scenario weird. I mean, we got a solar eclipse happening today. Oh, I'm thinking something solar eclipse related. I'm going to be around at your house around the time where it's the best because we have a meeting later today. Should I bring glasses for you? Should yes. I bring glasses for the for the eclipse? Yeah, bring me some eclipse glasses, please. Oh, by the way, what did you say? Should I trust you? You said around three o'clock. Well, our meeting's at four. Yeah, but I, should I trust your knowledge on when the it's going to be crossing here? I mean, it's going to be out throughout the day, but it's the best viewing you can have is around 3 o'clock. Here according, in Florida? According to reports. Yes, here in Florida. Listen, I told you, Heidi loves the eclipse. She went and got us glasses. The reason I have it. Don't look up at the sun today, people. You Without shouldn't look the glasses. Up the, you shouldn't look up at the sun ever, but don't look up at the sun if you don't have the glasses. Why is it, why is it more dangerous? Do you know? Because it's an eclipse. Uh a2945 is the Bartow Ford DA text line. I always know when I ask a question that Aaron and I are not smart enough to know the answer to. It'll burn your eyes. That one of you goons. Yeah, but what? why? I don't like, know. We, anytime you look at the sun, it's going to hurt your eyes. Why? Because the moon, you would think with the moon in front of it, with less sunlight, that it would be less dangerous. But clearly that's not the case. 
82945 is the Bartow Ford DAE text line. Why is it more dangerous to look at the sun during an eclipse? 82945, start your text with DAE so that we get it. I need to know. Most places will experience around two minutes of darkness. Whoa. Darkness. in Mex- There's a place in Mexico that the long it will be the longest stretch of darkness Four minutes and 28 seconds. That's when I'm going to get my nap in for the game tonight. If people in Alaska are like, whatever, we got six months. All right. Yeah. You know, it's like six. I, think, I don't know if it's six months, but they've got like literally months of darkness up there. Like where it doesn't, sun, the sun just doesn't come out. I think it's a perfect time. Everyone for two minutes, you get your nap in, you get ready for the game tonight during the solar do? eclipse. Yeah, it's the best two minutes in sports. <laughs> All right. When we return, uh, we're going to tell you a statistic about Nikita Kucherov that should lock in his MVP bid, but. Uh, there's some other things at play that may hurt him, even though they should not. We'll do that. And your chance to win, win your way into Goons Getaway Day tickets. That's coming up next. Goons Getaway Day coming up on the 18th, just about 10 days. Actually, just exactly 10 days from now. Uh, you, me, Aaron, Goons, Rays Baseball, your chance to win next. WDAE traffic update. Crashing countryside on State Road 580 near Countryside Boulevard. Also, we're seeing delays on southbound 75 approaching 674. Northbound 75 jammed up from before the Selman Expressway to MLK. Crash off to the left-hand side there. And we're seeing delays southbound 275 between Fowler Avenue and Sly. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Hey guys, Chef Justin with Fresh from Florida here, reminding you that Fresh from Florida sweet corn is in season now. And for amazing sweet corn recipes, visit FreshFromFlorida.com. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every bite. After more than four decades in the diamond business, International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire knows a thing or two about diamonds. And a big concern he has right now is the influx of man-made or lab-grown diamonds being sold at retail stores all over. Keith says these diamonds may look like the real thing, but they're being mass-produced and are losing value by the day. Why would you put your money in something that devalues faster than food you eat? Keith says they may look nice, but you can grossly overpay. For example, a man-made two-carat diamond costs next to nothing to produce. A two-carat lab grown diamond will cost $320 today. But you'll see it in a store showcased with an insane markup. They're selling it for probably $2,000 to $8,000. Two years ago, it was in the $12,000 range and today, you're talking about a $320 diamond? Come on. Your mama didn't bring you up that way. If you're considering buying a lab grown or machine made diamond, get the facts before you write that check. International Diamond Center in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Hey, fellas, need a boost in the bedroom? Look no further than Age Rejuvenation. Say goodbye to performance issues with their exclusive Pulse Wave RX and Stem Cell Therapy. Experience natural solutions for erectile dysfunction with no medications and no side effects, just guaranteed results. Their drug-free approach naturally enhances and restores blood flow, promoting the growth of new blood vessels, eliminating vascular plaque, and revitalizing erectile tissue. Just go to agerejuvenation.com. That's agerejuvenation.com. Mention Pat and get your first treatment free and we're live here outside the perez family home just waiting for the and there they go almost on time this morning mom is coming out the front door strong with a double arm kid carry looks like dad has the bags daughter is bringing up the rear oh but the diaper bag wasn't closed diapers and toys are everywhere Ooh, but mom has just nailed the perfect car seat buckle for the toddler. And now the eldest daughter, who looks to be about 9 or 10, has secured herself in the booster seat. Dad zips the bag closed, and they're off. Ah, but looks like mom doesn't realize her coffee cup is still on the roof of the car. And there it goes. Oh, that's a shame. That mug was a fam favorite. Don't sweat the small stuff. Just nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Learn more at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. The iHeartMedia team is growing, and we're looking for experienced salespeople to join our team. If you're interested in working in a fast-paced environment and representing the biggest brands in media, go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa. iHeartMedia is an equal opportunity employer, and you may be the next rock star seller for our team. Go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa and apply today. Good Greek moving in storage. Your superhero movers. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. 
Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock. But our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny, our highs right around 84. When you can't crank up the speakers in the office, plug in those earbuds and download the free iHeartRadio app. You can take WDAE and your home for sports, music, talk, and podcasts all in one app. Free never sounded so good. Presented by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine, accident attorneys. Call 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. 888-546-4620, your chance to win your way into Goon's Getaway Day. Uh, are any of these... I see we got Damon wants to talk about the eclipse, and uh, Todd wants to talk about betting. Drew wants to win some raise tickets. If you want to win your way into Goon's Getaway Day, 888-546-4620, a four-pack of tickets to join me, Aaron, Casey, and a bunch of goons to see the Rays take on the Angels Thursday, April 18th. That's, of course, a day game. Make sure you can go. We will entertain those calls after we give away the tickets, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We were always entertained calls. Uh, but, yes, if you want to win tickets as well, 888-546-4620, unless Drew is money. Drew, good morning. Good morning, goons. Drew, how many strikeouts did Ryan Pepio have yesterday? Once, 11. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad, glad you said 11. I had no idea what Once was. <laughs> like, I was hoping. I was like, I hope that means 11. I, I, I don't Look at this mean. guy. He's trying to help you all with your Spanish, and he's getting tickets. Right? Let's go. What's 26? Once, how, yeah. do you say, how do you say 26 in Spanish? Vente, vente. I, like oh, I was looking for the vente, six. vente, yeah. vente, vente. Hey, Drew, hold on so Casey can get your information. We'll see you in 10 days at the trot, my friend. All right, let's go, goons. Let's go, Rays. Let's, let's go. go. There's Drew. Hold on, Drew. Speaking of Jose Caballero. Jose Caballero yeah, that's really, good. That's really good, man. I, I need to work on it. I do. Really like what he's providing. I mean, he's gotten almost a hit every game. Every time, every game he's out there, he's getting at least almost a hit, it seems like. Yeah, no, Which, he's very impressive. He's fun to watch. I like a little compact guy. Uh, by the way, we've gotten uh, a very good ha slash hilarious uh, suggestion on why it's dangerous to look at the, uh, and there's a couple of them, on why it's dangerous to look at the eclipse or more dangerous to look at the eclipse than the sun any other day. Um, I think they might be right. Damon is in Brandon. He wants to talk about it as well. Let's see if he believes the same. Uh, Damon, good morning. Gentlemen, always an honor to speak to you guys. Uh, basically, the reason why um, looking at the sun regularly, which will normally cause sunspots for a while, but during a solar eclipse, what happens is, is that the light around the corona of the sun is condensed, and on the spectral level, the blue light, which is the most damaging to the retinal and the corneal arteries in the back of your eye near the rods and cones, what happens is, is that when it breaks open and it slides and then all of a sudden you see that left side or the right side, depending on what state you're in, uh, when the sun basically is re-exposed, it's almost like saying, put your thumb over a water hose and see if the water is harder coming off of your thumb as opposed to if you just let it drip out. So it hits you harder and more condensed and then therefore because of that the retinal cannot uh handle that type of um, you know that that ray distortion and therefore the blue light being one of the most powerful in the spectral in the roy g biv it basically just nails you like a laser and it can uh, now what it will do is it'll tip be temporary damage but the thing about it is, is that the blue light later on in life, if you're subjected or if you have a family history of macular degeneration or if you have, uh, you know, corneal issues or anything mm -hmm. like that, 
it will actually exacerbate the problem as you get older after your 50s. Damon, are, are you an optometrist? Optometrist. Optometrist. Uh, yeah. Optometrist. No, I actually... No, I actually have a master's degree in kinesiology, and then, and uh, I have a person, and I have a master's in uh, personal training, and uh, you know, I mean, you guys have probably heard me before. I've talked to you before. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know my drill. I mean, I work with professional athletes. Uh, all the time, and uh, you know the funny thing is trauma by uh, no 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 no. I'm actually a kinesiologist, but the thing about it is that uh, you know working with a lot of um, you know outfielders, especially who have to, uh, we have to give them certain types of uh, UHF twenty eight derivative glasses wow. uh, mm-hmm. when they're play- when they're playing outfield. These things cost about. Six to eight thousand wow. dollars. So when you see a lot of these outfielders and all that stuff, you know, trying to drive on a ball to try to, you know, trajectorize it and to catch it, you know, when they're staring in the sunlight during a day game, uh, they're wearing some pretty expensive Oakley. That's a Amazing. racket. Uh, Roy G. Biv, you should have seen Pat's face when you said Roy G. Biv. Pat, are you aware of Roy G. Biv? No, I'm not aware. Of, I'm G. not aware. Of, hold on, I'm not aware of a lot of things that uh, Damon has told us about just now. He's clearly brilliant, and well, I, uh, clearly well, I, I am. Could, not. Give, I could give it to you right now. Hold on. Is Roy, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Is Roy? I want to see if my memory is good. Man. Roy G. Biv, is it red, orange, yellow, green, blue, infrared, no. violet? What's the eye? No. I know the eye. Uh, the indigo. eye is indigo. Indigo, indigo and yeah. violet. Okay, indigo and violet. Pat's yep, you got it, bro. Hey, hey, you, hey you, got, uh, you got ninety. You got ninety percent of it, brother. The listen, I was. Well, that's way better than my school average. So I'll take it. Hey, Damon, thank right. you. You got. You got to have a blessed one, man. Be good. You too. That's a lot of science. Somebody texted He's in. Smart. Somebody texted in. This guy is too smart to listen to your show. I agree. <laughs> Roy G. Piv. Uh, you know, sometimes really smart people just want to. Hear what really average people sound like, and then they get to listen to our show. Todd, 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 Todd. Todd. Hey guys, good morning. Let me take you out speakerphone. Yeah, thank you. I see it too, Wonderful awareness right, there, Todd. So, thank you. Unreal. Uh, well, I've been listening to you guys long enough. So you're I'm listening not, enough not to a, like not a rookie. When you, when you are a rookie, you had it on speaker to start that you, if you were a veteran, you would have taken it off speaker already and not been like, yeah, I know, my bad. Oh, Aaron, you like to bust balls on a Monday. That's why I love you. It's true, but, um, Here's some good news, okay? If UConn wins at Loudmouth, I'm going to make Moderna pizza style uh, from Connecticut. White clam pizzas at Loudmouth if UConn wins. What if they um, lose? Yeah, but I win $500 if they lose, Todd, and I like that more than pizza. Pizza's pretty good, though. It is good. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so if, if you lose, which... Anywho, uh, I was going to ask Aaron because he's the best guy. Do you think the guy from Purdue, the seven footer, is going to get twenty points and ten rebounds? I do. Yeah. I do. Uh, that's why. I mean, he's a double double machine, and um, yeah, I think he's going to be able to get some buckets uh, in the paint where he lives. But you're also look for him a lot. Yeah, like I said earlier, he's averaging about twelve free throws a game. So let's say he only gets eight, makes six of them, add a couple buckets to that. Yeah, I think I think twenty and ten is safe. I think double double is a lock. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go go with that, and then uh, you turn to win. Hopefully, you know. That's either, gonna either way you win. If you come, if you come loses, then you can come get some free. Uh, if you come wins, you can come get some free flatbread from the Aaron and Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Good stuff, man. Thanks, Todd. Where did I have pizza from last week that was so Colony Grill? Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, my God. It wasn't like a typical pizza. It was just really good. Hmm. Colony Grill, they don't have a lot of food options. It's just kind of like pizza. I haven't obviously been doing a lot of pizza lately, but when we went to Clearwater, um, the place, uh, we, we the Pizza or something like that, uh, right on Clearwater Beach, really good. t Kraz turned me on. To, I forget where it is now, but I've only been once. It was incredible. Nona's. Oh, I've heard of Nona's. I think, I don't it's, think it's by where your uh, Giggle Waters, that crazy burger that you love. Oh, yeah. Where's that at? It's hard for me to go to Safety, Safety Harbor, Harbor and it. not go Safety to Giggle, Harbor. Wa- the Giggle Waters. That's the problem. Safety Harbor. That's the problem. All right. When we return, still a lot to get to on today's show. On the other side, we'll get into some of the things we have uh, missed during today's show. It is The Blender coming up next with Casey Warner. He'll catch us up on the things we have missed. But if you've missed it, Every hit is a win again with our friends at Suncoast Credit Union. You probably remember last year they donated $78 for every raise, hit, and home run. 
in honor of their 78 branches. Well, they're doing it again this time, but a little bit differently. This time, they're donating $90 for every raise, hit, and home run in honor of their 90th anniversary. They're going to collect donations throughout the month until they raise $10,000 for local nonprofit organizations. All you have to do, just like last year, just head to suncoast.com slash raise every month to vote for your favorite charity to see which of the two charities will receive the most money. And basically, the percentage of the vote they get, that's going to determine the, the, the percentage of of the donation they get from our friends at Suncoast Credit Union. I love the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. We talked a little bit about this earlier. They've been around for 100 years, over 100 years here in Tampa Bay, and they do great work for the community and for animals. I, I told the story earlier when, when my wife and I were uh, a lot more broke than we are today. We had one of our dogs that needed to get neutered uh, that we adopted, and we were able to get him neutered through the Humane Society of Tampa Bay at an affordable rate because, again, we were pretty broke. They do great work for pets they do great work for strays they're all over the community and uh it's just it's a great great charity and i'd love you to vote for the humane society of tampa bay this month both local nonprofits are benefiting wildlife benefiting animals and zoo tampa a champion for wildlife and if you haven't been to zoo tampa i will tell you it is a great place to go you certainly want to check it out if you got kids amazing place for your kids but what they do for conservation of endangered and threatened species is just incredible. Zoo Tampa, one of only three places in the U.S. that can take in critically injured and sick manatees. And we know a lot of manatees here in our backyard, and a lot of them, unfortunately, are involved in accidents, and they need help. And only one of two facilities at Zoo Tampa that can care for orphaned calves. Incredible work they do. So please go for Zoo Tampa, and you can do that by going to suncoast.com slash raise. Yep, or just vote for the Humane Society of Tampa Bay. Suncoast, right? Suncoast.com slash raise. Both great charities. Vote for your favorite today. All right, time for the blender coming up next on the Pat Aaron Show on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Oh, the day-to-day grind, the meetings, the pressures, the constant stop and start on the bridge. Ever just catch yourself saying, I gotta get away? Well, here's your chance, big guy. It's Goon's Getaway at Tropicana Field. Tune in all week to the Pat and Aaron Show for your shot at winning tickets to the Rays and Angels. And escape the noise of the day-to-day with a Goon Squad. Presented by your Tampa Bay Rays and the Goons on 95.3 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Revard Buick GMC, the number three. Wait a minute. I got that wrong there. Revard Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revard Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. I'm John Morgan. When you call Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm, your very own army springs into action immediately, 24-7. Our investigators, legal staff, and over 900 lawyers work together to fight to get you the best result as quickly and easily as possible. Insurance companies know who we are, and now you know it too. This firm was built for greatness. This firm was built for you. Injured? Call your army. We're ready to roll. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Some things in life you can just rely on, like the comfy fit of a favorite pair of jeans and the tried-and-true performance of a new AC system from Rude. So here's to reliability, built into everything we do. Rely on Rood. Get reliable cooling and comfort installed by a certified Rood Pro Partner. Go to RoodACFlorida.com to schedule service with a Rood Pro Partner today. That's RoodACFlorida.com. Powered locally by Ferguson HVAC. Did you know the most successful teams always have a game plan? And they stick to it. So it makes sense, of course, to have a successful retirement. You've got to stick to it. You've got to prepare. And it's got to be a written strategy. Hi, this is Steve Holland. Call us here at the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors for your written retirement plan. 727-228-6449. That's 727-228-6449. 
If you think Taco Bell is only for late night, you are mistaken. Taco Bell is also for daytime, which is why it's introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with new Cantina Chicken Tacos, Burrito, and Quesadilla. And new ingredients like seasoned slow-roasted chicken, freshly prepared pico de gallo, shredded purple cabbage, and even a new avocado verde salsa packet. It's the Taco Bell for when it's not late night. Whoa, not just late night. Try the new Cantina Chicken Menu now. The participating U.S. Taco Bell locations was supplies last. Contact store for participation with spares. Climbing ladders to clean your gutters stinks. For only $1 per foot, let the gutter experts at the Rhino clean your clogged gutters before they cause damage to your home. That's right, just a buck a foot. You enjoy your game day while they do the dirty work. Go to therhino.com and schedule your cleaning today. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Main office, Tampa. And iHeartRadio Sports Report, presented by Mark Spain Real Estate. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. We're looking at a mostly sunny day today until the partial eclipse at around 3 o'clock. But our high is going to be right around 83. Mostly cloudy lows tonight around 62. Tomorrow, Tuesday, just like today, minus the partial eclipse. Mostly sunny, our highs right around 84. Broadcasting live from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. We are Tampa Bay's home for sports and Pulse Nation, Nation for over 20 years, years and counting. counting. 95.3 WDAE and the mighty AM620. The Blender. The Blender on the Pat Aaron Show is brought to you by Mazda of Clearwater. If you're looking for a new or even pre-owned vehicle, the choice is clear. It is Mazda of Clearwater. They got some great stuff coming up for their one-year anniversary of their new showroom. Make sure you're listening because uh, I'll have some very cool information on that coming up. Cool information on sports coming up with Casey Warner. What do you got today, young man? Yeah, very yeah. cool. Let's do it. All right. I already mentioned this earlier in Top Headlines, but for a little bit of the later listeners, John Calipari's out. He is out at Kentucky. He's going to Arkansas, and that means Kentucky has to find a new coach. It was funny. I was texting my dad earlier this morning, me and him, big Kentucky fans in case you all don't know out there. He texted me, yippee. The rea- yippee. Was, yippee was his reaction to Calipari leaving. And you know what? I texted him back. I said, I want Rick Pitino back. It's oh. time for Rick Pitino to make his way back to the Bluegrass State. Top candidates on this article, at least on CBS, Billy Donovan, Rick Pitino, Nate Oates, and yes, even Dan Hurley in the mix, possibly for Kentucky. Mick always struck me as more of an F yeah than a yippee kind of guy. <laughs> um, I Hurley, like... I, why Do would you? Leave you? UConn yeah. For Kentucky? Why, I mean, what's, yeah. What's wow. the point? Historic program in UConn, and not quite Kentucky, but it's pretty damn close, dude. Not the long history that Kentucky has, but, but recent, more recent. More recent. I, yeah. I agreed. I mean, I, I don't in know. In your what, lifetime? Yeah, I have no idea why you would. If you're so okay, so let's bring up Amir Abdurrahim for for a point. Only one year of coaching success with USF. Uh, one year with USF coaching success. He's been around. I don't think Kentucky's going to take a chance on him, right? But if you're leaving USF to go to Kentucky, that yeah. makes sense. To leave, it's not, it's not, it's not even a question. Yeah, to leave UConn to go to Kentucky, I, I wouldn't do it. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, so the long story, blah blah blah. Like, yeah, it's great, right? But at the same time, like, the Chicago Bears have a long storied history. How do they look today? You know what I mean? And I'm looking, Kentucky, I'm not comparing Kentucky to the Chicago Bears. I'd rather coach Kentucky than the Chicago Bears, but. Sometimes a long storied history is is only so good if you've been not so good for a while. Like I don't know. To me, it's and again, Kentucky's a great program. Almost any other program, that's somewhere you'd look at and go, yeah, I want to go take over Kentucky basketball. But I don't know that if you're at UConn, that that that's that feeling. And also, if I'm a big, if I'm a college basketball coach, I know the SEC has some big players, but I I want to go to the Big East. I want to go to the Big Ten. I want to go to the ACC. I'm not looking at an SEC team like Kentucky if I'm in the Big East at UConn where 
I mean, I know they had a couple teams that should have been in that weren't in this year, but I mean, you're these teams are becoming tournament ready just by being in the Big East and the yeah. ACC alone. Very intriguing name here, too. Billy Donovan. He was an assistant coach. His first assistant coach job was at Kentucky in 1989. Did not he was, know that. He was 502 and 206 as a college head coach at Florida and Marshall. Would you pick Kentucky over the Chicago Bulls? I That's mean, a job it, maybe worth considering. It depends honestly. on if you want to be a college coach or a professional right. coach where, Bingo. one, you're dealing with paid. I know the NIL athletes are getting paid now in college, but you're dealing with adults that are doing it as a profession. And in college, you're building those kids up and helping them transition into adult men. Um, I, Billy Donovan, another guy who's very familiar with the SEC. It makes a lot of sense. I think that move makes sense. Yeah, I, I I couldn't agree with you more. To me, it's it's a lot less about the two teams involved if you're talking about Chicago or Kentucky and a lot more about do you want to coach college kids or do you want to coach pros? And I think that there are you know, advantages or disadvantages to both. It's just about what kind of coach are you and what do you want? Look at Harbaugh in football. Yeah. Right now, I think Michigan's the better situation, even though a lot of those guys are leaving the program because you know they're they're aging out. But you can get a perennial winner every single year at Michigan. You're going to a Chargers team in, that that has struggled in a tough division. So I don't think that I think he was just done coaching college kids and wanted to go back to coaching adults. The most coveted job in college basketball for grabs. We'll see what happens with that. <laughs> that coveted uh, to you. <laughs> I mean, hey. Greatest tradition in the history of college basketball. I don't think that's arguable. So, <clears throat> well, that's another topic we'll get in for another day, though. Mm, 2024 Marlins were one of seven teams in Major League Baseball history to open the season with nine consecutive losses. They're winless no more. That are the team down there in Miami. Finally got their first win of the season yesterday. They were challenging the 1988 Braves at 0-10, the 0-2 Tigers at 0-11, and the 1997 Chicago Cubs at 0-14 with the worst starts in Major League Baseball history. I've never seen in baseball a franchise that has shown so much inconsistency. There hasn't been. As the Miami Marlins. There hasn't been one. Because they go from winning a World Series in 97 to trading everybody off. Winning a World Series in, what was it, 03 to trading everybody off. Making a playoff run, and now you're, you suck. So, I, and it's early in the season. They don't look good. I expect another sell-off from the Marlins later on this year. They will trade guys as they do every year. And then you go, well, they don't spend a lot of money. It just goes to show you the difference between the two teams in Florida. Both very similar in how they spend money in their approach, but two different outcomes in how they're doing it, and the Rays are much more creative with how they do oh, yeah. it, and that's why they have success, consistent cons uh, success, and the Marlins are so inconsistent. The Chicago Bulls had a team meeting after the first game of the year this season. The Detroit Pistons lost, I can't remember how many games in a row, but it was a lot. And now that, like, we're seeing a lot of suck in the last 12 months. We've seen a lot of really bad suck from teams in the last 12. Like, there's some greatness. But there's a lot of bad, too. To be fair, the LA Angels had a team meeting after, like, the first series of the season. <laughs> I should have uh, mentioned them, too. From yeah. Ron Washington, and now they've been on a nice little streak. So, well, yeah. it right. worked. They, right. they won't be good, though. <laughs> nah, and they're going to get beat by the Rays coming up here this week. Can't oh. wait for that. And also, Ron Washington doesn't take uh, any crap. Mm. He, he doesn't take any crap. Uh, so a guy like sometimes it works with a guy like that. Also, they won't be good, I believe, is somewhere similar to about what I said about the Texas Rangers last year. So all right, all right. Take right. that with a grain of salt. Two games into the season, by the way, he called a team meeting, Ron Washington. And he's like, you guys suck. <laughs> Don't do this anymore. Hey, the Red Sox had that team meeting during the spring where all the players are just like, hey, why do we suck so bad? Can you go get some other players for us? That's all we got on the blender, fellas. Back to y'all from the penalty box. That's the blender on the Pat Aaron Show presented by Mazda of Clearwater. If you're thinking about a new or even pre-owned vehicle, the choice is clear. Mazda of Clearwater. If you're thinking about a new home, the choice is clear there as well when it comes to getting that mortgage done, when it comes to getting that loan. And that choice is clear because of our friend John Howard with HowardTeamHomeLoans.com. We've been telling you for a long time now about the fact that John Howard is just different than most lenders. First of all, he's a goofball and we love him because he's a lot of fun, but that doesn't really help you get a loan. What helps you get a loan is the fact that John Howard will bend over backwards for you. John Howard will do things 
Other lenders just won't. We've told you about the fact that he has officiated weddings for people to get them the best loan. They were already going to get married, but he just bumped it up a little bit, did the ceremony, and got them a better loan rate because they were married. We talked about the guy who's needed a new roof on his home, got it before he paid for it, and was able to save $9,000 on his home insurance Thanks to John Howard. Whatever it is that you need to do, John Howard will put you, when it comes to your home, John Howard will put you in a better place. Maybe you're already a homeowner, but you're in a little bit of debt and you need some cash flow. Sometimes a cash out refinance can be the best thing for you. Sometimes it's not. The good news is John Howard will sit down with you, look at your finances, and really tell you the best option to put you in the best financial situation. So if you're looking for that loan, if you're looking for a new home, or you have a home and you're thinking about a cash out refinance, there is only one guy to call and that's john howard howardteamhomeloans.com if you're driving just pull over write it down howardteamhomeloans.com we'll wrap this show up in just a minute on the pat and aaron show on 95.3 wdae and am 620 from the safe touch security traffic center wdae traffic update Westbound I-4 slow from before the Selman connector towards 275. Crash now clear on northbound 75 north of the Brandon area. It was near MLK. All lanes are open there and traffic getting back up to speed through that area. Also a crash on northbound 301 at Causeway Boulevard. One in Largo on Walsingham near 137th. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Discover. As humans, we like having options. One option you might like is speaking with a real person when you call about your credit card. With 24-7 live U.S.-based customer service from Discover, everyone can talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. Spring is in the air, and so is dust, pollen, and dander. Before you turn on your AC system, make sure to schedule an iron as heating and cooling seasonal tune-up to avoid costly breakdowns and clear away the allergens that have been building up since last year. Right now, when you schedule a spring seasonal tune-up, we'll also schedule your end-of-season fall tune-up for free. Book today at ironaair.com forward slash radio. For anything cooling and plumbing, you can trust Iernas to get it done and get it done right the first time. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hey guys, T. Kraz here from my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader and the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. It's called regenerative medicine, guys. So if you're tired of those achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love doing, you got to call my guys over at QC Kinetics. I did. They fixed my elbow. They fixed my knee. They can do the same for you. No surgery, no steroids, no drugs. They are a thing of the past. Regenerative medicine is where it's at, and they can deliver lasting results. They can use your own body's biologics to restore and repair damaged joint tissue, and that's what QC Kinetics will do. So get your life back, guys. Call them. QC Kinetics. Get a free consultation. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you going again with no downtime. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics, located in Bradenton, Lakeland, St. Pete, and Brandon. Tell me your boy T-Crash sent you. I'm Ellie Anajar of Anajar and Levine. Injured in a car crash? Never rush to settle with insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anajar and Levine. Our experienced legal team will fight to win you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call me, Ellie Anajar, for a free consultation and take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa. Hey guys, Jay Retro here on behalf of my friends at Top Shelf Sports Lounge. If you're looking for a place in downtown Tampa with a scratch kitchen, craft cocktails, expanded wine menu, and located just a few blocks from Emily Arena, then Top Shelf Sports Lounge is the place for you. You gotta try their grilled wings and Ebor egg rolls, fan favorites, and they've got healthy options too, like sushi grade ahi tuna, the tuna bowl, and their power play salad. For more information, head on over to topshelfsportslounge.com. Everybody keeps asking, where can I go to get a drink or a bite to eat in downtown Tampa? My answer, always, Top Shelf Sports Lounge. Guys, your perfect closet starts with the right finishing touches. And right now, during the light and accessory event at California Closets, every $1,500 of design lighting and accessories you buy earns you $500 toward your custom design. Garage, office, bedroom, California Closets will give you the space that's fresh, styled, and expertly organized. To get started, visit one of their three conveniently located showrooms or visit CaliforniaClosetsTampaBay.com to book your free design consultation today. Tell them T-Crash sent you. Biggest guests and analysts from around the world of sports. The Dan Patrick Show, coming up at 9. Now, 
Back to the Pat and Aaron Show on WDAE. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Eleven strikeouts for Ryan Pepio yesterday. It was a much better start uh, the last time around for our guy Zach Eflin than his first performance on opening day. He'll be on the mound tonight in Anaheim to take on the Los Angeles Angels. Figure that one out. Uh, they'll have a, a guy who had a really good start his first time around as well. Tyler Anderson making his se- second start of the year for L.A., he is uh, 1-0, uh, seven innings pitched against the Red Sox, gave up four hits, but that was it, no runs. So he, he had a good start his first time around. Should be a good pitching matchup tonight uh, in Los Angeles, but I, I like the race. Tyler uh, Alexander, not Tyler Anderson, Tyler Alexander for us, for the Rays. I was like, did I call him Alexander? I thought- <laughs> nope, you were right, but uh, he's struggling. Um, yeah, where, you know, we're going to have to get, until we get guys back from, from injuries, Guys like him are going to have to step up because from what we saw yesterday from Pepio, very encouraged if he stays healthy. And I, I feel like I have to put that caveat with everybody yeah. uh, on this staff. But very encouraged. Or just not say it at all because we know it's part of it. Eh, I'm always going to say it. Um, Eflin, Savali, Littell. That's who we have matched up here for this Angels series. Eflin, Savali, Littell. We're going to, coming off that performance from Pepio, and they came back and won that Saturday game in, in a surprising win. So now we're going to really be able to see what this rotation, until we get the Taj Bradleys back, until we potentially get Jeffrey Springs, Drew Rasmussen, maybe even a Shane McClanahan, now we can see what we're probably going to be seeing for most of the season, if not all the season, with Eflin, Savali, Littell, and Pepe are doing what he did yesterday. Yeah, and I'm glad you said those guys, because if Alexander continues to look the way he has, I don't think he'll have that many shots. We've got too many arms in the system. They can bring guys in. They know what they can do with bullpen days. Uh, you're only going to get so many opportunities to be the bulk guy if... Uh, it looks like a bulky diaper when you go out there. Love a bulky diaper. Very no, interesting don't. text on the text line from the 813. We were just talking in the last segment of the Blender about the Marlins and their inconsistency. Off to a 1-9 and nine start this season. Just got their first win. Successful year last year. They just can't string together consistent seasons. And I said, you know, the Rays have been able to do it consistently for 15 years with a low payroll. Somebody texted in. Aaron, I agree with you. The Marlins have been inconsistent. However, they have won two World Series titles. The Rays have zero. Would you rather be a fan of the Marlins and have experienced two separate title runs or a Rays fan and root for the playoff contender consistently but has never won a World Series title? Very interesting point made. Very tough one. Good point made from the 813. And I'd rather be the Rays as an organization. But, yeah, it's hard to argue with two World Series titles when that's the goal. That's the point yep. is to win it all. And it doesn't happen very often in any sport. Uh, you know, so consistency is great, but you want to get over the top. And we say it all the time. Like, you know, we thought, and this is one of the things that we have to give the Bucks so much credit for. We thought, hey, we're going to have to pay the piper later with the whole Tom Brady thing. And it was like, yeah, we might be in cap hell for a little bit. We might have to deal with this or that, but it's worth it because we're going to get this Super Bowl. And then we've only had one before. And it's so hard to win them that sometimes you have to bite the bullet and kind of eat eat it on the other end. And you're willing to do that to win. The, it's just so different in football. I mean, I'm sorry, the Rams, in baseball. F those draft picks. Yeah. Um, you know, it's and, and look, the Bucks have recovered. The Rams have recovered in different ways. The Rams found a guy in Puka Nakua who really helped them out a lot last year in being successful on offense, but they didn't have to deal with a lot of that down the road like we thought they would. It hasn't been sustainable, or at least they haven't sustained it. But the other difference is a couple times the Marlins have gone out there and, and swung big and, and, and landed big free agents and have spent money that the Rays just aren't really willing to spend. Do you know anyone specifically? I mean, over the years, they've had strong rosters where they, like... They signed uh, Mark Burley there for a little bit, Jose Reyes, those teams, mm, you know, the no, mid-2010s. The mid no, 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 no. Hey, hold on. Yeah, okay, They're wait. not spending, like, like the top teams in baseball, but they've outspent Hanley the Rays. Ram- Hanley Ramirez. No, no, Hanley came up with that. That's I right, believe. yeah. That's the thing is, I think you're mistaken, and the, the reason I, it made me think a little bit is because a lot of the guys the Marlins have, they're homegrown guys, and then they trade them off. That Junk. first World Series team, they brought in a couple of veterans to put them over the top. Okay. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, again, maybe not like super high-priced guys. I'm not comparing them to the Yankees and the Mets and the, and the Red Sox and that sort of thing. But there's been a couple of times, and I think those World Series teams, are you can include in those, where they've brought in a little bit more high-priced veterans than the Rays have and would. 
Um, who was it? John Burkett? Um, I forgot who it was. Oh, the Red no, Sox picked no, him no. a ton of money. It wasn't Burkett. No, it was I know Josh you're thinking Beckett. Of Beckett. Beckett. Josh Beckett. Josh Beckett. Thank you. Yeah. Josh Beckett. Thank you. Beckett. Good job, Casey I thought Pavelbon. <laughs> and Casey Warner wasn't even like alive for that, so good job. Um, <laughs> no, Beckett was like mid-2000s or, or like early to, early to mid-2000s. But a lot of the guys yeah. I remember from the Marlins teams, you mentioned Hanley Ramirez, Miguel Cabrera. Um, they started off their careers with the Marlins. Those are superstars, and you trade them off elsewhere. Jean Carlos Stanton, I mentioned him earlier. I was Mike Stanton for a time <laughs> with yeah. the Marlins. So, I, you know, I, I don't remember the Marlins giving out, bringing in those type of free agents. Now they gave money to John John Carlo, but then they traded him away. So, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's tough. They've had more complete rosters for those years, bigger star power. I mean, you look at the Rays, not a lot of homegrown talent. No. Not a lot of guys they bring up through the ranks on their own. Longo? Longo. And they trade for a lot of guys. They I'm bring, trying to think of anybody else that's like come through the system. I don't want to bring B. up the Lau, other guy. Brandon Lau. Who's that other guy? I don't, you don't really want to mention Wander Wander Franco is who you're talking uh, about. Yeah, 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 so that didn't work out well. Brandon Lau. I mean, you can't really, like, that's not a baseball thing. Look, look at the producers, the main producers. Randy Rosarena, you brought him in in a trade. Yandy Diaz, you brought him in in a trade. And at the time, we we're like, why would you do that trade? And look at him. He's the best, most productive guy on the team. Um, most of their guy, Isak Paredes. you can Paredes. go through this roster forever and do that. Forever. Yeah, I every, know. Every guy. Like, and that's the difference. Even down to like guys like Ty Willingham. Remember Ty Willingham? Uh, he was not growing in this organization. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm saying even guys like that. Wait, Ty or Josh? I think it was, it was Ty, Ty Willing. It was something. Did I get it wrong? Josh, no, I, think I, you're I close. remember Josh Willingham, Ty, but not Ty Willingham. Uh, maybe you were right. I don't know. Well, Willingham, what before we yeah, come on, he's hurry right. up. He's right. Who? Josh oh, Willingham. Man. I think it's Josh Willingham. Who was Ty? What the hell did I get? Ty Wigington. Wigington. Ty Wigington. Ty Wigington. There Wigington. You go. Ty Wigington. That's the team, by the way, that I covered almost every day. That's what happens when you get into your 40s, guys. I'm just letting you know. Get ready for it. But yeah, right. was not homegrown here. Uh, Carl Crawford, yeah, all right. Yeah. That's all cool. right, well, shaky end of the show. It's like uh, we're like the Marlins. This ending was like the that's Marlins. It. Inconsistent. Yeah. Ty Wigington, sorry, bud. Uh, that's all we have time for today. <laughs> sorry, bud. <laughs> for Aaron Jacobson, for Casey Warner in the penalty box, I'm Pat Donovan. Uh, thanks so much to the men and women who serve our country and allow us to be morons and forget who Ty Wigington is for a living. I would always look at Ty and I'd be like, why is his face so square? <laughs> he has such a square, <laughs> thick face. And that's how I'll end it. Thank you for listening to the Pat and Aaron Show. If you missed anything from today's show, head to the Pat and Aaron blog. Thank you for listening to the Pat and Aaron Show. If you missed anything from today's show, head to the Pat and Aaron blog at 953WDAE.com or listen to on demand replays on the free iHeartRadio app. Stay tuned. The Dan Patrick Show is next. Live, live on 953WDAE and AM620. Hey, it's Sean Kelly, voice of the Gators for my friends at International Diamond Center. IDC is Florida's family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections. IDC delivers exceptional value, mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality, ironclad warranties. IDC has showrooms all over Gator Country, Gainesville, Orlando, Tampa, Clearwater, Sarasota, Naples, and on the Treasure Coast. The vibe at IDC is relaxed and fun. Their non-commissioned experts will guide you every step of the way, and nobody can touch their incredible value prices. Of course, IDC's specialty is diamonds. Real, rare, precious GIA-certified diamonds in every shape and size imaginable. It's a massive selection at no middleman, direct importer prices. So when it comes to those special moments in your life, celebrate with the only jeweler endorsed by the Gators, International Diamond Center, where Gator Nation shops for jewelry. Get store locations, hours, and learn more. ShopIDC.com. Hi, I'm Benny Jr. with Bartow Ford. The college basketball playoffs have always been one of my favorite times of the sporting year. Why? It's a chance for a small-town school to beat a perennial powerhouse. Bartow Ford has been that underdog, outselling big city dealerships every single day, every single year. We only do this by teamwork and taking care of our customers. It's just another way at Bartow Ford we're different, and we prove it. 
Applied Innovation, a company that local business people have trusted for almost 40 years, can be your single source provider for all your business technology products and services. Applied Innovation's longevity can be attributed to a culture that motivates people to perform at extraordinary levels and be accountable to their customers. Applied Innovation, the region's number one choice for copiers, multifunction printers, large format printers, and printers from world-class manufacturers like Rico, Canon, and Kia Sera. Applied Innovation has also become your number one choice for managed network services and other IT support, paperless office solutions, voice over IP telephone systems, document shredding, and other business solutions. You've heard over 100 customers on the radio talking about how Applied Innovation's knowledgeable professionals have given them peace of mind when it comes to their office technology. Call Applied Innovation today, 800-521-0983, or visit AppliedInnovation.com. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson, and I'm here with my friend Mark of Mark Spain Real Estate. And Mark, what would you say to people who think the guaranteed offer is really too good to be true? For those that may be skeptical of the guaranteed offer or think it's too good to be true,